I got exit when I'm a crackhead. Yeah, we're good. And that's the start. All right, hello. No, I don't, how, do, how do we start this one? I don't know. Me with it. I don't fucking know. You got to... Um, we're going to lose half the audience already. <laughs> Just pliers. Why do you have pliers? I don't know. Well, it's like a, it's like a multi-tool thing. So it's like if you need to file something, you can file something. Oh, if you like want to... Your like apocalypse cut aware? Gotcha. Something... Yeah. yeah, and then it all folds in. This in. one has stuff too. It's got like screwdrivers and shit, and then it all folds back into this compact can you, can you, little thing. Can you flip it around like it's a? Nope, nope. Cool. I'm not butter knifing it. I mean, it's 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 you got to use force to. Welcome to the show, everyone. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's <laughs> go, guys. Um, so I got a question for you, Zach. Oh yeah, for sure. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I brought my own content for tonight too. You did. It's not very good. Um, the uh, the the <laughs> I'm no more so context. Curious. No more context. No, yeah. no. The fucking uh, lottery. Do you hear about this lottery business? No. The uh, the Mega Millions jackpot tonight is one point three billion dollars. Wait, hold on. And I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a ticket. So oh, we're gonna at at I think it's what eleven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They draw tickets. So at the end of this episode. See if I win one billion dollars. <laughs> like, that's literally. Fun. That's yeah, fun. that's I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't really I don't really buy lottery tickets, but it was such a high number, and I was thinking about the show tonight, and I was like, that'd make for a good title or something, that right? Would. Like yeah, that, that definitely like, will make for a good title. Like almost almost winning a billion dollars. So yeah. it's no longer clickbait now because we got it right. out of the way right, right up top. So you right. can go fuck off now. Um <laughs> Because there's no Ooh. more episodes if this happens. Right, right. That's just true. They're probably you know, no, I mean, we reinvest money into the kind of show or something. Mm. Um, Fly out to Cabo. Cabo. I don't even know what Cabo is. And that like it's in Mexico. Ah, uh, can't speak Spanish. Hola. <laughs> I think try you're me, fine. Try me, try me, try me. I think you'll be fine oh, in Cabo. Uh, hola. Uh, hola. That's all you got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not okay. Ask a question. Uh, Como estas? Uh, is this? Are we gonna do the boy being gracias, Kobe Tayama shit? Like, is that all we're? Is that all we <laughs> yeah, know? Apparently, <laughs> I only know uh, Paquito Espanol. Paquito? Isn't that uh, yeah. Pequeño? I thought Paquito was small. Maybe I'm I think not. Pequeño was small. I, I hang know. around I, people that speak Spanish all day, but like I don't um, personally speak dude, much Spanish. I I took. I pick up on a little bit, but not like actual like yeah. useful Spanish. I just I, know a few words. If I was around people speaking Spanish, I'd be like, oh, you're talking about that after listening for like 30 <laughs> minutes. I uh, I took Spanish for probably 12 years oh, in yeah. school. Like there was one year where I think I had one or two gap years between like, I don't know. I don't know what the math is, but I took a fucking fuck ton of Spanish. And I, I can tell you that conjugates, the words that sound like English words. I'll tell you what I'll conjugate. What, do you, what will you conjugate? Tell me. My wife. <laughs> That's so stupid. My wife. Your poor <laughs> impression. Um, That's fucking stupid, dude. Oh, that was dumb. That was good, though. Can we can we start there instead? <laughs> I'll tell you what I can conjugate. Just opens my up wife. into my yeah. wife. <laughs> um. Hey, if you like Borat, uh, if, if you like Borat, subscribe. If you like if you, Borat impressions more than uh, there's got to be a guy out there that like has never watched Borat, but he knows the impressions are funny, and the yeah. whole, he's just going around his whole life going, my wife, surely, and just thinking right? it's the funniest shit in the world. Yeah, yeah surely. Um, how did we get I could to just that mix topic? it up and you would say surely, right? Like, I could be like, there's surely. probably so, there's probably someone out there that's, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know, I, just earwax, yeah. <laughs> and surely, yeah, well, I think that, we know we the know guy, too. Yeah, we know for a fact yeah, that there's one guy eating fact. earwax. Run it uh, back. Can we, uh, Let's just commit if Sean doesn't actually join, let's make this the shit the the the, the, the shit on Sean show. Shit on Sean Day. What is that? I don't Oh, it's just it's piece it's piece of my headphone. I thought I had a, it's bug a on piece me. of your headphone. Yeah, my shit's like oh. scuffing up. They're, I mean they're not even that old. Subscribe so ears. Ben can afford a new uh yeah, thumbnail, a new thumbnail. headset, please. There you go. Easy thumbnail. His, the but thumbnail pl- is, is is shitting on Sean and winning a billion dollars, and the thumbnail is <laughs> a broken thumbnail. headset. <laughs> I have um, this thing with whenever we do videos, I always like suggest titles the whole time because I think it's funny. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you need to take any of them 
seriously, but I do think it's funny. Like that's the title of the episode, and it's yeah. just fucking a- after saying some awful bit. It makes my life easier because it makes making the thumbnail easier. Mm. So I don't have to like go through and like find context or stuff we did. Like the Mr. Beast thing, I actually had to kind of try. You know, the, we, there was a I had to change the name because I think that the name we said in the thing was like uh, Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast bombs, bombs Ukraine. Ukraine, yeah, or something like that. And we were like, yeah, we can't really use that. Well, I, that probably would go I, over well. I changed it in the clip to Mr. Beast saves Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. I, and I that. think I that, that was. I thought that was a good because a think, good way to. I think that if you put the word bombs in a title. You you get blacklisted immediately. You are shadow banned immediately. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I found honestly. So like you know you know I've been concerned about like you know I started that TikTok page and it was doing really well at first and then it, it stopped doing really well and if you checked it right now it's like it, it's starting to slowly get there again but it's not anywhere near where it used to be. It's really weird. Um, it's really weird. But what the, 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 what's what's maybe uh. it makes sense. Maybe it's bizarre. Nice. Um, hey, hey, that's the call. But you know when they say the name of the movie in the movie, and you're like, oh, oh, dude, yes, that's absolutely. Re- when they regurgitate like they in drop- the regurgitated yeah, podcast, yeah, they, yeah, I just start oh, puking. <laughs> just, oh, 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 oh. Oh. It happened when they when they call Saul and Better Call Saul. <gasps> oh no, I, I I Better Call Saul. Finish your topic, but I heard Better Call Saul is like a big thing right now, and I don't know why that. Yeah, is. I'm I'm like I'm I'm caught up with it it's like the only tv show i've watched in the mm. past like couple of, i don't really watch much anymore but yeah. I, breaking bad was like my favorite tv show of all time yeah. and i've paid i don't usually buy shit but like i've paid money yeah. to like buy the last season so i can stay up to date with it and not wait for it to be on netflix yeah. I, uh very I good want, i don't watch it for tv truly. yeah that's, I mean, I watch that's fine yeah. what was i talking about beforehand let's talk about some Dude. shit oh 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 yes the tiktok page so um <laughs> i noticed the of uh, the major dip kind of happened when I posted the bad dragon video, but it was a variety pack of miniature versions of their most popular dildos. And I was very conscious to not use the word dildo in anything, but I thought maybe using the branded description instead of bad dragon would have like circumvented that. And that video has one of the, and I think I mentioned this in a previous episode has like one of the highest engagement rates on any of our posts on there but was capped like at a super low view count. Like it, it, it got like everyone was liking it yeah, yeah. and then it got capped and hasn't moved yeah. a muscle since then. Yeah, yeah. And then all of her uploads prior to, or subsequently have just been not as good as the ones before that. It's, just, it's very odd. Now YouTube shorts is a bit different. I've been very good at YouTube shorts and some of those were really popping off, but even those have slowed down a little mm-hmm. bit now and I'm not, maybe mm-hmm. it's just the algorithm. Like, gives you a shot when you make a new channel. Yeah. And, and then like, like once it kind of realizes it's like, all right. And then it slows you down a little bit. I think there's a method of consistency that is problematic that the YouTube algorithm is. You, I feel like TikTok, I heard people maybe upload I, like two or three times a day well, and get like crazy results on both it, YouTube and TikTok. In my brain, I would think like TikTok would prefer daily uploads, but I feel like YouTube would prefer like weekly or or not not you know that not as consistent as daily. I don't know though. I have no idea. I think the the YouTube algorithm has like different sub categories for like what it values. I think TikTok is yes, just as most co- much content as possible. When I was researching like strategies for our page, I think you know most people were saying upload two to three times a day minimum. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm not going to do. I don't have enough. Not only do I not have yeah. enough time, I don't yeah. think we have enough content to do two to three days. Uh, two, it, it would be done in like it's, a week. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's not quite happening unless we do more regular content, which you know that's a future. future. That's not right. We don't need to worry about that right now. YouTube sh- YouTube is is interesting because you know obviously if you have an audience, you can do whatever you want, right? Like Michael Reeves uploads like once a year, and like Surely. you'll get the the highest yeah. viewed video on of all time. Surely. Um, but then like. You know, obviously, like if you're starting to grow an audience, you want to be posting like I think the golden rule is like once or twice a week. Which mm-hmm. I know we kind of double that, but like at least mm-hmm. we're consistent in, in doing some stuff still. Um, but like I've seen people say like, yeah, the only reason why I blew up on YouTube was because I was uploading like two or three times a day, whether they're like news YouTubers or um, th- there's a financial guy. And again, this is not me like recommending oh, him. But the, no, but I like Graham Stefan. I actually. Uh, um Okay, I, I, think I, I met someone. This. I think we talked about this 
Yeah, I, I, I did meet someone associated with Graham Stephan. I will. That's a story for off the air because of the yeah. nature of how I met this person, yeah. but um, not anything illegal. Let me, <laughs> let me just say that. Um, just, just building bombs in his basement. It was so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. Yeah. Um, no, but that's a story like for off the air kind of. But before I met this kind of weird mutual friend of of, of Graham Stephan, um, I... I applied to be an editor for him where if you, if you go on Graham Stephan's channel or one of the sub, one of the subsidiary channels, uh, Alex is like intern um, mm-hmm. like that. I, I did the same application thing for, oh, for him. Okay. He, he made some posts and I, I was really desperate for a job at the time. And he made some posts being like, you make a video explaining why you're a great editor or PA or assistant or whatever. It, it, this is the salary and just do it. I'll make a video right now. And I had like no equipment with me and I was in this shitty room and I just literally like set my phone up on a tripod. It was the worst yeah. shit. Yeah. It was no yeah. chance ever. Yeah. Um, but no, I was going to say meet Kevin, who's also somewhat associated with Graham Stephan. He, he, that guy uploaded like three times a, a, a day and still to this day will upload like three to five times shit. in a day. Yeah, and that guy does like crazy numbers uh, on YouTube. Um, but he, he also has a topic. Or are you talking about? No, just full full time really? videos. He's like a finance YouTuber, and he'll just uh, you know he'll do like a live stream in the morning where he'll like follow the markets, and then he'll make like another video about some financial news that happened later in the day, and then he'll make another video later in the day about his thoughts on one aspect mm-hmm. of the financial market. I'm not supporting the guy because the people have accused him of being really scummy. I'm just going to go yeah. out and say it. I'm not smart enough to like. Yeah. tell you whether or not yeah. this is a trustworthy financial advisor so again uh yeah. knock on wood cross your fingers whatever on that one but yeah. th- the fact of the matter is the dude blew up on youtube from posting a shit ton um hmm. you know I, I, so i think i i don't quite know how to translate that information because you know certainly the michael reeves approach of posting once a year is not going to work for you unless you already have some kind of following yeah. It's the difference between is just posting once a week enough or do you need to be this crazy guy posting every single day? Um, And I I see results throughout all of those methods in like varying verticals and industries. So like I don't quite – that's an interesting one. TikTok, again, I know. It's like you post every day. That's how you get an audience. YouTube, I'm not sure. I yeah I see people that pop off with specifically YouTube shorts that they'll – you know their most viewed video will be like – 100,000 views, but their most viewed short is like 10 million. Like, I see that all yeah. the time. Um, I don't, so when I was doing CAGDU, which was the only time I really attempted at a YouTube channel, like, I, I wasn't working or anything. I was just pretty much doing that stuff. I was uploading weekly. And I think, you'd, so you'd think that would get give us a little bit of traction. The problem is, we it wasn't that good of content. So <laughs> that's part of my brain. Part of my brain goes like, is it only funny to us this regurgitated stuff? I'm like, is it only funny to us? Are we the only so, ones that find this funny? <laughs> I think I think the the most important thing is that we're doing it right now, right? Yeah. Like, sure, some parts of it are a little cringe or whatever. Um, sometimes intentionally in a very yeah, good way, definitely. Um, but then, like, I'll, I'll be completely honest and candid with you. Last episode started off pretty funny, but then towards the end when it was just us sitting around saying like nothing, mm-hmm. it could have been very funny if, and you do a great job at editing this shit, by the way, this is not a knock to you. Yeah. If I, over- it edited, been, yeah, if I def- did like yeah, the if, next step of editing, I could have, yeah. If it was like punt zoom, yada, 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 yeah. cut that down, yeah, yeah. cut that like 30 minute section down to like 10 minutes could have been very funny, but like it, 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 it maybe it, we should have just ended it there. I don't know, but, yeah. but, the, but, the, but there's yeah. a, a, a couple things to this though. Number one is that we're just doing it. And we're being consistent and a, you know, some people are paying attention, whether it's, you know, a couple people subscribing to the clips channel or TikTok or whatever. It, it, it's, it's something. And we're just getting used to it. You don't get good at something unless you do it 500 times in a way where you fail or be right, shitty. Right, right, you know right, what right. I mean? Like, so, so the, the, the important thing is that we're doing it now. I, I, I will say I like this show again. I wouldn't be, <laughs> you know, you see me in between these shows I know it must seem like doing this show is really easy work, but you don't see the legwork that goes on behind the scenes. Yes. You don't see how hard I really work. Snap, snap, snap. Yes, exactly. But no, seriously, I mean, you see me like sending you messages about how we're running this shit in between yeah. shows. And that might be annoying or whatever, but it shows that I give a shit about this. And I can tell you right now, like, I don't like if I don't. It's like what I said a couple episodes ago. I'm either involved in something or I'm not. I'm right. either turned on or I'm turned off. There's no like. There's no, I mean, I, there's stuff I don't give a shit about, sure, but there's no like, oh, I kind of want to be invested. If I'm putting my time into something, I either want to do it 
or I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's very apparent which of those two things is true. Now, I, 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 what I'm trying to get to, though, and I, yeah, yeah. I, I ramble on a lot, is I think a lot of the show is is funny. I think we just, we're just figuring out um, A, the audience, B, how we're actually going about doing this stuff, and then C, what we find funny and how to keep it funny. And I, so, okay. I want to say, I think the shit post aesthetic is good. I like it. I think I like you, you said you like it. I yeah. think that is not good as far as marketing ourselves. I think that I, Interesting. I, I know that you are the big marketing guy and I, and I appreciate the work that you do. I don't give a fuck about marketing. Like I'm not my, my, I, I do this shit for fun most of the time. Like, you know, I, I, I'm making the videos for fun. I think it's fun too. Yeah. So I don't give a fuck about marketing, but, and I, and I love the shit post kind of, uh, aesthetic. So I, I, I love it either way. I, I mean, think there's an audience for it. Yeah, I definitely. I, I just think that it's harder to like. If you look professional, like if I if I came on here with a fucking DSLR camera and you had a DSLR camera and you were talking to this this microphone because my fucking stupid ass bought a five hundred dollar microphone and we looked really professional. We like we did like multi cam editing and shit that would be probably get more viewers off right off the bat. But the shit post, it's just so much fucking, it's so much, first of all, it's easier to get the content. Second sure. of all, it's, it's just more fun. I think, look, if you, if you go find any podcast that you like and you go back to their first, you know, however many episodes, you're going to find shit like this. Yeah. It, it's just, it's just the, the, the nature of it. Right. Unless you're like, you know, um, pick some random celebrity that started a podcast when they were already rich and famous. I'm yeah, sure yeah. they got like all the equipment and stuff, yeah, but think, yeah. any, any organically grown show like this, you go back to the very beginning and you watch it and you're like, wow, that looked like shit. Like go, go watch the first episode of Joe Dude. Rogan. Oh, well, like, I was going oh, oh, I, I don't want to fucking. So I was watching the first episode of regurgitated, you know, oh, yeah? I, I've, I've, I've watched it a few times, obviously I edited the fucking thing, but I look back at it and I'm like, First of all, we're much closer friends than we were at that point. We like knew each other for a while, but we never really we talked knew each that other much. through the grapevine. Yeah. And I yeah. look back and I'm like, this it is almost awkward in comparison to now. You know what I mean? It's, I, it's, I'm also the type of person that takes a while to warm up to people. Yeah. Like, I, sure. like I, I, I'm somewhat of an extrovert. Like I do like talking to people and I get energy from talking to people and I can go out and do and talk to strangers. I've done public speaking stuff occasionally before. But like, if I'm like in a group of people that I've never met before, I'm very like, I'm, yeah, I, it, it I kinda, takes me a while to. I feel like get I kind of fucked you over with the first episode where it's like two people that know each other than you. You know what I mean? You're like a third wheel. You, you probably almost felt like a third wheel to yourself. But I, I'm just dumb. I've always done that. All my my entire friend group. I know every single person. But I, so I have this way about me. I don't know why I do it, but I. I so when I made CAG do, it was a fair. It was kind of the, the only people I talked to, and then it just grew and grew and grew. But I knew everybody, and people had to meet other people through kind of like through me. It was very weird. The yeah, it's man. still that way now. Um, but um, I have a question for you. Yeah. How about this? If you, if we're on episode one hundred, and we have you know a few thousand, a hundred thousand subs or whatever. Um, please, on YouTube. please, someone clip this when we have 30. Yeah, 30 <laughs> subs, right, exactly. Episode 100, we have well, 30 subscribers. Would be, well, if we're doing once every other week, and then 20, it would be that's four years, then it would be much. over two years. Yeah, well, if right, so if we're doing so 52 weeks in a year, we're doing so that's 26, it would be four years. Yeah, it would be a little less than yeah. four years. Um, anyway, in four years, when we have three, a few hundred thousand subscribers. Um, uh, where, what do you want this podcast to look like? I think that entirely depends on, on how much this has like grown. You know what I mean? Like if there's a, a genuine audience for this and we see growth, um, it, it's, it's tough to do everything remotely and I'm not quite sure what the solution is for that yet. You know what I mean? Like I've hmm. certainly thought about moving away from here, but like, I'm not in a position, my, my, uh, 10 hours of white screen has an ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I got YouTube premium. I got to deal with that shit. That's funny. Um, um, so yeah, again, I, I you know, I, I have, I have no plans for that. I have a life here, but yeah. I, and I also do like my traveling as I'm sure you're aware. Um, you know, I think better audio and video equipment for sure. 
being able to produce get like guests on that can produce interesting conversations yeah. and just I, I would honestly say like I think if I was going to run a show like this I'd want so, and, and this is maybe not the time and place to be having this conversation but like if I was like running it I'd want the financials to be broken down it's like okay we're all going to get paid out an adequate amount but then like however much we're getting paid I want some like that equivalent going into like a company account that could pay for all us to yes. all like go fly exactly. out to an event yeah. or something or to like pay for new audio equipment for people or to like um do a gag you know what i yeah, mean yeah, something yeah. along those lines no, I, I agree um, with you. Put, put the money back into the then content that get, then that could be written off the taxes there you go think so about for think me about that think about I, that huh when i had cat chat room during cag do which actually fun fact if we do an episode in two weeks I, we've officially done more episodes of Regurgitated than we did in Cat Chat Room, which is awesome. We only did six episodes. So, we did, yeah, we did three, and then we did three more with a, with a, a new mic setup all in person. And it was, it was trash. I mean, I'm not going to say it was good. But um, but my dream for Cat Chat Room, and my, it would be my dream for this too, is to have a Howard Stern style set. Think what? Oh, I actually have some more ideas that I would that I want to throw you away, but go ahead. But... I watched a podcast and I actually just bought a shirt for this podcast. It's a, it's a Nintendo. It's, I told you about it. It's the Nintendo podcast, dude. They had, a, a, I think it was two episodes where they keyed in one of the guests. And I didn't, I was watching it on my phone. I didn't even notice that he was keyed in. It was that good. So I'm thinking that level, you know how, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't watch that much Howard Stern myself. I just like the setup. I don't know how much Howard Stern you've watched, but having a multi-cam setup, where you're like the Robin or whatever, and I'm like the Howard, and it, the, you know, you know what I mean. And it it looks like we're in the same space, but we're mm. remote. You see what I'm saying? That yeah. would be fucking sick, dude. That would be you, so. You ever, rad. you ever watch Coffee Zilla? Yeah, you know who that is. Yeah, yeah. you know how pre- he has the the ten million dollar mm-hmm. studio where it's mm-hmm. all just green screen and CGI mm-hmm. stuff, something yeah. along those lines. Yeah, that'd be but the issue with that is we'd have to have continuity between our equipment. Yeah. Because you can't have like my 720p webcam yeah, and then exactly. you with a DSLR and it's like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. like that it very clearly breaks the thing. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start this off with listing my favorite podcasts off really quick. Right. And I, I don't listen to a whole lot of podcasts, but neither, there's a theme. Anymore. There's a theme here. My favorite podcasts are Last Podcast on the Left, Therapy Gecko, and um, this old podcast that no longer is running anymore called The Biggest Problem in the Universe are my favorite podcasts. Now, the, the only exception to this is the last podcast on the left. I really enjoy shows that have like viewer engagement. A, I think mm. it's a brilliant marketing strategy, but then B, I love like fans calling in mm. to something. Mm. You know what I mean? I love people calling in and just catching people off guard. It's like an endless stream of content. And I personally find it very funny. I, fucking, I, um, I love that shit, dude. Yeah. So like, so like therapy gecko is a guy who, first of all, he dresses up like a gecko. Yep, and I he, know, he, yeah, he, he's, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I can explain aware. it, but explain it, but that's so fucking cool. Like it yeah. actually is such a red thing. He dresses up like a gecko and people call in with their life problems and he is not a licensed therapist, but he talks them through it and, and people are batshit insane and have weird stuff all the time that they call in for. And then they get guests on very famous people and they have them dress up as geckos too, which is, mm. is, is mm-hmm. funny to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the biggest problem in the universe, the way they format their podcast or with the user engagement with their podcast is um, they have a voicemail line set up. So they'll you know bring in the whole premise of the show is they each bring in a problem and debate these problems as to which one's the, the biggest problem. And and then online users get to vote and rank the problems and then call in to tell the host why they're fucking stupid about their problem. And they play voicemails that callers have left in with them throughout the podcast about how mm. stupid the other person is last week. And I don't know. I've always just really appreciated having like fan some kind sick. of fan engagement yeah. experience, whether oh. that be from like a that people are interested in, in engaging with your content in that way. Like that certainly is a driver mm-hmm. for it, but I just personally find that content funny as fuck. Yeah, I find um, it funny as fuck too. And, I, and I'm not saying that that's what this show needs to be, but I want to do something along those lines. Yeah. Some, uh, some would be kind of like a vision of mine. The thing is, so I, I think about this where do you have to hit a level where your fans are actually funny, <laughs> you know, cause you're True. just going to get some random dudes that are like, Oh, this podcast with 10 viewers, you know, I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna, that could be funny too is like us it, roasting it some dude yeah, it, it you know what be. i mean we, we also have to be self-aware enough too that like we, there's like on the main regurgitated channel there are 10 subscribers on the yeah clips channel regurgitated reflex if, if you're watching this on either one of these platforms know that there's another 
channel. There's more shit you have to do. Um, but the regurgitated yeah. clips channel has uh, yeah. 14 subscribers. Yeah. So we have to be self-aware a little bit too, right? Yeah. Like this, like on some level, this is a little trash. You know what oh, I mean? It's, like hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's all trash. I like but it. I appreciate reason, it. I the, think it's fun, the whole but pitch, it is. The whole pitch to you, if you remember, was like, ah, it's going to be shit, shit post. It's just going to be garbage. <laughs> like it's going to be, it's going to be every other week trash. I, just, just be there. That's why I love the, you know, you said you don't care for the, that the, the shit post aesthetic doesn't do too well. Honestly, I, I think it's a brilliant idea to, to call a podcast regurgitated. It's gross and disgusting. Yeah. It doesn't, you know what I mean? And like, I'm sure some of the stuff we're talking about, other people have talked about too. So yeah. it was like in some regard, regurgitated quote unquote content. Yeah. And then on top of that too, all of the branding being kind of like cute, but gross. And then the nature of the marketing strategy is just kind of being like internet shit posty type stuff. Yeah. I, you know, you know, it might not be working right now and maybe we'll have to change that. I don't know. I just think it all ties in together. And I, I enjoy making it. I enjoy it when it comes up and I get to see mm-hmm. shit that I make. Mm-hmm. I might not enjoy seeing my face all of the time pop yeah. up on my phone, but mm-hmm. I enjoy looking at the material I make, whether it's the logos, the intros, the um, yeah. seeing the numbers on the go up and everything. I, yeah. dude, I fucking love seeing the thumbnails because i'm like that's me not too much that that's not so much that it's me as in like that's me as a person but i'm like that's my work and i like it most of the time like most of the thumbnails i really like um like i really like the mr beast thumbnail i really like the mr beast thumbnail i I love the unabomber thumbnail even though it got us banned from twitter temporarily do you want to talk about that do you want to clip clip right here we got (laughs) our our previous episode we we made fun we didn't even really make fun of the unabomber we just sean informed me that you could write into the Unabomber and like send him like a letter. And we thought it would be, we didn't actually do this, but we thought it'd be funny content to like, Oh, let's write the Unabomber mm-hmm. and be like, ha ha. Doesn't it suck to be in jail or something? Mm-hmm. Um, and that was literally it. And so in, in the thumbnail, the, the, the way we kind of clickbaited the last episode, like title and thumbnail was the, the title was our new pen pal or potential new pen yeah, pal or something. Yeah. And then the thumbnail has Sean going, and then a little letter saying, dear Unabomber, please be my friend. Can I come, over? Yeah, can <laughs> I come can over? I come and over. then the picture of Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, which like, first of all, I think it's, 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 you did a great job on the thumbnail. I think it's pleasing to look at. I would click on yeah. it a hundred percent. And, and um, the, the title doesn't say the word Unabomber or anything in it. And mm-hmm. it, the joke isn't really necessarily bad. It, it's, yeah. it's a, there's plenty of YouTube videos explaining stuff about the Unabomber mm-hmm. that have gone viral, but for whatever reason, we we post that on Twitter and our account gets locked. And, and none of us even, can use the the Twitter account for a while. Yeah. And you didn't even tweet out. You tweeted out the thumbnail and saying you said that like the podcast is is coming up or whatever. You didn't put the Unabomber in the tweet itself. The only time the Unabomber's name was on it was in the the on the on the piece of paper, and it was some like font that there's no way. Maybe an AI could read it, but I don't think that Twitter's bots are going to read that and say. So it's it was really confusing. With Ted Kaczynski's face is on it. That was what I, pretty, that's what I think. Yeah, did it. Um, yeah, which is awesome. That was so funny immediately. Like we made this Twitter that was, three we days immediately before. Sw- that, that's why this is like the shit posting thing kind of worked because we got locked out of our account, and the second we resolved the issue, it immediately became content to yes, repost exactly, the account. Being exactly. Like look, haha, look, we got banned for posting the Unabomber. <laughs> Have on. we tweeted since? <laughs> I don't think, I don't, I don't since. think so. Well, so uh, Twitter's, you know, on the, on the topic of like social media engagement and stuff, this podcast is great. If you want to kind of laugh and then learn about people that don't have the most experience with social media, but yeah. are figuring it out. I think this is um, a cozy podcast. I think I would, I would put this in a cozy category because I don't think yeah. we're fucking comedians, but I think we're funny enough to hold a conversation unless we're both very tired and we just play guitar and talk. <laughs> And not yet. I, I've, I've thought about doing stand up again, especially I've been in more of a creative mood. I think doing this show, like when you reopen this door, like, hey, let's do the show. And I'm like thinking about like growing stuff on YouTube and whatever. Yeah. You saw I did an animation. I released a, a, an animation last yeah, week and I have. First, an, first, first in a while. In like, a, like nine months or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And then I, did, I technically did another one, too, that might come out on next week but if you're watching this last week um but it's not as funny i'm not as big of a fan of it i just made something but the, the, the point is is i have my creative juices flowing and i used yeah. to do stand-up and i kind of want to again i just don't know I, i'm a 
I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. And then B, I don't know what the fuck I would say right now. Well, so. the thing is, the thing is, I, I think that you you have the personality to hit stand up pretty hard. I think you're you you can talk a lot and you talk in a, in a funny cadence, and that's kind of the two main things you need for uh, stand up. <laughs> I talk very funny. You should have seen me get roasted on Xbox Live last night for. Mm. Uh, <laughs> no, Ethan, tell me, my tell friend me. Ethan. No, apparently when I was gone, they made up this bit about me having sensitive teeth and what I would say about hearing that people would bite into ice cream. And so I joined this party where they start talking about ice cream, trying to bait me into telling a long-winded story about why I like ice cream but don't like biting ice cream because I talk in long-winded laissez fair mm-hmm, fashions. Mm-hmm. Uh and 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 um it, it it, it was very funny. I'll, I'll give them that. But like, it just was still just Xbox me getting. Kids? No, this is like Ethan and our other friend. Oh, ben. your friends are shitting on yeah, you. Yeah, this is okay. my friends shitting okay. on me. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I, um, I didn't know if it was I like... do have sensitive teeth, by the way. God yeah. damn it. Dude, there are two things in life that make me cringe to shit. The idea of scratching ice with your nails. I don't like the, the idea of ice being like under the nail. It bothers me. And um, go, like uh, uh, ice flavoring. Or flavoring, ice temperature getting under your gums, that shit bothers mm. the hell out of me. I I am not in for it. I hate it. It makes me cringe. My, my mom my mom likes chews on ice and bites popsicles. Ugh. I, I don't Ugh. mind chewing on ice. <sighs> the thing that I don't like that I just maybe cringe is the frosty ice. Is just where you can get it, it like on the side just of your teeth. Fucking... Just rip them out. Um, no, I love I love getting shit on on Xbox Live by randoms. I mean, Evan, my buddy Evan, just oh, shit on me all the time. It's been years since I got shit on Xbox Live yeah. by randoms. I, I don't go dude, to game chat anymore. I played maybe, I, maybe PC gamers still do that. Maybe but. like two or three years ago, I loaded up uh, Modern Warfare Two on PC, not uh, not on Xbox on PC, not even connected to Xbox in any way. And first of all, just hackers every Warfare game two today. Hackers every, <laughs> yeah, hackers every game, and and we're still flying. Still flying, bro. It's like nothing's changed since 2012 or whatever. Nothing, dude. They're still I feel like, N-word, N-word. I'm like, let's fucking go, dude. This is this reminds me of when I was a kid, dude. That's 10 years ago. You just got yourself canceled. Yeah, Ben dude, N-word, Ben N-word. Ben Paquette says he likes white kids <laughs> likes saying white, the N-word. Uh it's so good. It's so Clip good. Clip it. Clip it and ship it. I, I Ben Paquette like white people, like little white boys saying the N-word. Dude, we could. That's just that's TikTok. You just made it just there and then. That's the, the content, brother. Oh, that gets our fucking thing shut down again for being pushed <laughs> to people. Um, uh, YouTube, YouTube doesn't care though. YouTube let no, us talk about the Unabomber, no, dude. YouTube doesn't give a shit. I'm, I'm sure it, if we were at the level where we could be monetized, they'd be like, I hear you say the Unabomber once, and then demonetize. Or they'd be like, I heard you say fuck in the first ten minutes. I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like I constantly see people get like striked for shit that makes like no sense. Yeah, no, all the time. But you want to you want to hear some fucking news unrelated to media at all? No. Let me hit you. With Show it. just ends. <laughs> Brother, I got the job. I got the fucking job, brother. I don't know why I set up for that. I got the job, dude, and I'm being paid 150% on what I'm being paid now, and I start in two weeks. Let's fucking go, fucking dude. Fucking go, dude. And I'm going to be able to Let's move out, go, and my background's going to be different then, and it's going to be sick. Hell yeah. And I'm going to get a, one of those Elgato wanna... green screens, and I'm going to make my background this background so you don't even notice. I want to, if we ever do a show in real life, I know we, we talked about doing one in New York City, which would be fun. Um, I want I want to, I want to just go into a field. Okay. I want to just go into a field with like two lawn chairs, two two lawn chairs, two labs, some phones, and, we're, and that's it. I'd yeah. be so down. I'd be yeah. so down for that. I really like the idea because, like, I have a DSLR. It's not a very good DSLR, but I have a DSLR. But I, for some reason, when I think of like recording a podcast with just like two of these fuckers, it I feel like it fits the vibes, the shit post vibes, so much better. Just recording on phones like this and just like using the fucking. <laughs> well, I would. I would like to. I'm. I'm like a production nerd, so I guess at some point I would like to eventually, oh, if this sure. were to, to grow, get some real <laughs> production imagine, value. But can you imagine if we were like making like hundreds of thousands of dollars and regurgitating? We're still just using an old S10 <laughs> for cameras. Well, I it's don't funny. Know. It's funny. Fucking um, Sean brought up Comtown last time we did this, and they're still. They don't even have a video element. They're still like, let's yeah. just sit in yeah. an apartment and just turn on an audio recording. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's. Although crazy. I think they're changing that soon. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that we're going to stay like this 
for most of the time. I think we're going to do probably over the, the course of time, we're going to do a few in, in person, you know, whenever we can end up in the same place. I think I personally, you know, I might invest in some better equipment, some slightly better equipment over the next year or whatever. Oh, tell me what a, you want. Well, A, this webcam, again, remember, it literally exploded on me. It used to have a built in light. I told you this is after episode one. Episode one, I had the light in here and it was fine oh, and then in yeah. between episode one and two there's a little like touch screen button to turn on the lights and dim it up and dim it down and i tapped it and it shocked me it, it did a shock and then i heard something move in it and the light doesn't turn on anymore great okay yeah it literally short-circuited and exploded on my fucking thumb touch okay great. um so i needed a webcam anyways first you of recommendation all recommendation or do you have one in mind um, I, I don't have any in mind, but I'm also not looking at buying it soon. Like it, this is like a, Fair. you know, maybe the soonest, like late next month at the soonest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, eventually a better microphone, although this is fine for now and then better lighting, which this is yeah. fine for now. You know what I mean? Like, this is all stuff that can happen slowly over the course of a year. You know what I mean? Like this is not, um, anything that's like super dire. Um, Why am I holding my, my medication in my, in my hand? Um, the thing, the thing about it is that with a Yeti, that's like the best you're going to get. I mean, you can get some echo cancellation, I guess, but like discord's going to fuck up the audio anyway. It's going to, that's why I said, like, first of all, you know, I know this is too much work when we have a bunch of people in here, but I can just record my audio and send it to you. I was thinking about doing that and, and, but using them in tandem. So like using, you know, uh, our personal audios, you know, our, our, you know, what do you want to record it audios and then using the discord audio when we need to, but nah, you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll just, just see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think for episodes like this, that wouldn't be a problem. I think honestly, Oh, I guess I don't know how Sony Vegas works that much these days, but like at least in premiere mm-hmm. bloop bloop. And then you right click and link and then yeah. it just functions yeah. as the yeah. same yeah. audio yeah. clip. Group. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Okay. I just got a text message. I didn't understand. You're totally I apologize. Fine. You're totally good. Um, so, oh, I get it. I sent a tweet to someone and someone was replying to the tweet and I didn't, I, I didn't understand. I got the phrase paging Mr. Bezos on my phone and I was like, what the uh, fuck is happening? And then like, I sent a tweet me. about, You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, um, what were you saying? Uh, no, I just, you know, I'm excited. I'm just excited to move out, brother. Hell yeah. I don't know where I'm moving. I'm, mov- I'm in Connecticut now. I'm moving I, uh, there's three, out of states, Connecticut. three states in mind. I'm, I, I don't know if I want to say them. I think I told you one of them at least. Mm-hmm. Um, not for any reason, just to be mysterious, um, which is a reason. So there is one reason it's to be mysterious. Uh, but uh, my setup. Wait, where in the world is Carmen San Diego, but with Ben? And it, I'm just going to go to Cabo and just record the podcast from there. It's going to be sick. Um, not invite me. <laughs> uh I'm going to be so hype. Like I'm going to have, I'm going to be able to be loud whenever I want, bro. I, I remember ah. when I was 22, I would, I used to play like, I think I was playing Fortnite at the time to play Fortnite. And my mother who lives right above me would come down the stairs and be like, can you shut the fuck up? And it was so embarrassing every time. And I'm going to be able to just scream. And now it's going to be Alexis who I'm banging. It's going to be your gonna, landlord. Families that are trying to fucking <laughs> sleep. My landlord, who I'm banging, is also going to come down and tell me to shut the fuck up. So that's perfect. <laughs> um, How do you think I'm affording this rent? <laughs> show doesn't make money. So, oh god, my I'd dog. love to make a million dollars. I, although I will say though, this 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 ticket here might speed up the process. Please of, tell me. Uh, getting our equipment. Is, is, do, you, do you have DS- any content? If I win a billion dollars, then I'll I'll buy a DSLR. I do don't you, give a fuck. <laughs> do you have any content surrounding it, or is it just it being no, there is, is the just, content? <laughs> it's, this is the content. Okay. Right? That's, that's literally it. Is that I was having a conversation with my parents today. My mom was like, "Do you know the pick of millions is at one point three billion today?" And I was like, "That's a lot of money." She's like, yeah, it's, the, it's like the most it's ever been. You mm-hmm. should go get one." And I was like, "I don't know. I, I bought. I, I do have some fun gambling stories because I but." I, I when I gamble, it's degeneracy. It's me in Las Vegas losing a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I don't really buy lottery tickets. That's not my not my stallion. Yeah. But when I heard it's the largest jackpot ever, 
a, over a billion dollars. I was like, oh, maybe I should buy it. And I was thinking about it. I was like, I do have the show tonight. And it would be fun to just say it up top. And then at the end of the show. How, how yeah. much time although, do we see if you win? The, uh, I think it's at... I think it's at the top of this hour. So I think we got 50 minutes until okay. all the numbers are drawn. Okay. But um, also, it's one of those things, too, where it's like you don't really want to be public as someone that wins the lottery, though. I didn't think about that until after I bought this. And you also I, – isn't the thing where you like – the, the, you, you have to like ha- have the money that you get because of taxes and shit like that? Uh, yeah. So I think there's a couple different – like. Uh, things you have to be aware of so like you don't get all the money up front because a portion of the money goes back to the government just because that's how the lottery works it's a government funded thing to raise money for the government so i think this is 1.3 billion i think it's around like 800 million just just in terms of your total if you were to take the lump sum so there's, 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 i'm already alluding to different things here you can take the lump sum or an annuity the lump sum, I think, is like eight hundred million if you were to take it, and then you get taxed on it. So you're realistically probably only getting half a billion dollars. Mm. Whoa! I'll yeah. still buy a DSLR. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like that's the yeah, one. Yeah. That's fine. Um, uh, what, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, and then, or you could take the annuity, which I think in theory has a higher total payout over time. However, I think from what I've researched, this is not me researching stuff after buying one today. I think I've just heard shit online. That for some reason you don't want to take the annuity. Something about either the organization that pays it out could go under, or it's not totally insured. Either that, or like you get taxed on each payout individually, and it ends up being more. I don't mm. quite know. Um, someone fact check me on that, or I guess I'll find out. I don't. You'll find know. out. Yeah, hopefully. So um, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I, I bought this fully intending for, to not win this shit. But let's uh, <laughs> let's do this realistically. Right. You make you make the you, you win the lottery like full on, not even just like parts like you win the lottery. Oh, yeah. Tonight. I guess I could win 20 bucks tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, could, that could be possible. Too. But say you win. Yeah. Say you win 800 million tonight or 500 million, whatever it ends up being. Do you show up in two weeks for the next episode? Or are you just going to be like, all right, peace? <laughs> like, realistically, Maybe. be real. You can say no. I'm not going to be offended. I would totally be like, all right, I'm going to go to fucking Cabo or something. <laughs> We, 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 we would make it happen soon. Um, I don't know. Like, like if I'm being 100% serious, like I don't know what I have planned around that time, if anything. Um, but I'm sure we could, I'm sure for that amount of money, we could do one earlier or right yeah, after and yeah, make it happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, we, we would find a way to make it happen mm. for that much money. Right. That would be fucking sick though for you. Not for me. But for you, it would be sick. <laughs> I mean, I guess like I, it, it, there, there would be a lot to work through there and there'd be a lot of mm-hmm. money I'd want to allocate and give mm-hmm. to certain people and invest for myself and everything. Invest and then certain Bitcoin. money I want to live off of. But, you know, if there's money to reinvest into a, a show, you reinvest into a business. Right. I'm being too fucking pretentious right now. But, First thing uh, you should do is get those fucking umbrella lights right, right above your thing. So not only does it, does it take... I know black. someone that had those. I wonder if they still I have, those. have them. Oh, have you have those. them? I do. Like the real studio lighting? I do. The issue is I have like no space. Like right behind this is a, right behind this is a wall. I don't have space for umbrella lights right there. Well, dude, install like an iPad that shows white light. I don't know. <laughs> Figure um, it out. But I, I want to I get to the first piece of content. I don't know if we're going to do the TikTok bit tonight. I know you sent it to me. I think we want to I want to wait for that until next week. Actually, I do have there is a bit in there for Sean. It's actually Ooh. not my favorite. It's actually not my favorite TikTok bit. But you can, there's a you bit can, in there for we have, Sean. We have two weeks. If you want to fuck it up, you know, fuck around with it more. Sure. Free. Or fuck it. You can have sex with it if you want. Um, but in. I want to get to our first piece of content, which you know what is what it's going to be. I'm sure you know. Oh, yeah. Roll the. Oh, wait, no, I said there was going to be context. There's a clip he's going to roll. And in the clip, I said, I'm sure there's going to be context for this. So give him the context. Oh, the context is I sent. Uh, sent Zach a gift, a present from my from my heart that we had talked about prior, and and he received it and he didn't fit in his fridge, so he had to unbox it and kind of spoil the surprise. But the surprise is on camera. Here we are. Oh wait, wait! Roll the clip. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that uh, there was there was context given for this. 
But I got a- I got a freaking box, guys. I got a freaking box. This was un- un-fucking prompted. I didn't know I was doing this- this shit right now. Um, big ups to Ben. Thank you, Ben, for sending me free shit. You are a cool person. I got a freaking knife dude as a part of a toolkit. I'm now officially an unboxing YouTuber. Never seen me in this full HD before. Um, censor out my address. Put a bleep here or something. Uh, again, another, 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 another box. Again, coming, coming straight from Ben. Again, censor, whatever, whatever is on here. Censor it, or put the address of um, of uh, the president of the United States. I don't know. We were supposed to be uh, supposed to be uh, refrigerating whatever the fuck this is. Supposed to be uh, refrigerating. I'm not doing the best. Um, oh, you know what we could do? There we go. Wow, wow, look at this. Look, look, wh what, what the heck? You're gonna, you're gonna have to do some pun zooms or something. Look at this, put this on a, let's put this on a r slash oddly satisfying, why don't we? Oh baby, My, the, the on camera presence is oozing from within me. Within this box, we have another box. Jesus Christ, you ever do that lame joke? on like Christmas when like you get a box that has another box in it and you go ah you got a, a I got a box for Christmas and you, you expect everyone to fucking laugh let's see here it's um I feel like this is like a bottle of liquid or something let me see Jesus Christ my guy get two unboxings for the price of one hold on we gotta we gotta we gotta put some angles up for this we gotta fucking uh what, what, what's, what's going on here? What's going on here? <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh shoot! Dude sent me some bacon soda, dude. Dude sent me some bacon soda. He sent me uh, some peanut butter and jelly soda pop. I actually bet that one's not awful. There's there's no, there's zero, I, I, Ben, you have to pay double the money. You have to pay me to drink this shit. We got sweet corn. This pumpkin pie, this pumpkin pie shit right here. This probably, probably bangs. Who's that guy? Who the fuck? You got one more soda. Take a guess, take a wild guess. As to, you can fucking, take a, take a wild guess. As to what this last one is right here. It's fucking, um, buffalo wing soda. Wow, wowee, wow, wowee, wow. Wow, look at all this soda. <laughs> look at fuck. Wow! Look at all this soda. Look at all this sodi pop. Look at all these sodi pop. You have Ben to thank for this. You have Ben to thank for this content. This this show is actually um this this is the, no no one no one's ever done content like this before. We're actually pitching this to Netflix and HBO. Goodbye, you filthy fuck. There we now, go. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now now uh, uh now now we're now we're here. And this yeah. I, I I've now brought it upstairs in a garbage bag. Because I, I, I don't know, why not put it in a garbage bag? Do you Here's have a, these two, or are you just making me do this? I'm making you do this. You, you, you send me, you send me anything, I'll do it. Other than spicy, and other than pain, and actually, don't send me anything. But, um, so, I have, I have, I want to make this a little more fun. How willing are you to be, un be unhappy tonight? Are you Joe Rogan on Fear Factor? Yes. I, 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 it, it depends on what we're talking about. Uh, Regarding these sodas. I won't have to. Uh, I'm not saying I'm definitely going to. So hold on. Let, let, me, let me get all these bad boys out. Really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Display them if you'd like. Yeah, just throw them to the camera hold or whatever. On. I really like the garbage bag. I think that it fits perfectly with the trash aesthetic that we have. Always thinking, Zach. I got to say, always thinking. Oh. This ranch one, I don't know if you know this about me. I fucking hate ranch dressing. It's like the word, I, I, I kill me in the comments for it, mm. please. I, I beg of you, please. <laughs> Dare me. I can't stand ranch dressing. It's one of the most disgusting flavors, uh, period. Um, Is that out of trying it and not liking it? Like, Yeah, recently? I don't like it. Really? Yeah, I don't like it at all. Okay. Fucking A, dude. Oh there you God. go. Let me ask you this. Are there any of these that you are dying to see? Well, Zach, that is why I asked you if you how unhappy you're willing to be tonight. 
Are you ready? G- g- yeah, give me a suggestion. So my idea, because this is like everybody's done this content, right? Just trying everyone, right? So you shouldn't have told me that you you uh, you don't like the ranch dressing. You shouldn't have told me that, by the way. That was a horrible idea by you. <laughs> what I want because, you to do because now you want me to to try the ranch dressing. I'm going to give you two options, and you could just you can say no to both of them if you want. In it, but that, that would ruin the content. And dude, what are we going to do without that, right? So you can either try every one, every single one, and drink the entirety of the ranch, or mix them all into that cup after you finish your water. And try that. I don't want to finish the water because then I don't have water after all of this shit, though. Well, get a, just get a different cup or something. I don't, you could, I don't, I'm not against you having chasers, but, but all that mixed together cannot be good. Let me get another cup. We'll pu- I'll, I'll try a sip of each of these individually, and I'll pour a little bit in a different cup. What do you mean? So I'll, I'll take a sip of each of these individually. Yeah, and then you'll pour, pour a little bit of each of them for like a... Sh- into into one cup and then you're gonna do it do a shot of that like i honestly like only want to yeah just to have a shot of it not even like a half glass have okay you gotta give me some time on this though take it take all the time you need dude all right we'll be we'll be back i'll, I'll no i'll i'll dude I'll, I'll hold it down welcome to the to the to the to the ben paquette show starring dude, ben paquette and six bottles of soda it looked like you had a fedora on <laughs> This is my this is my content. Watch this, the staring contest. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Dude, the coming cast. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to come cast. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, I, we make. Okay, I don't know what the branding is going to be with this, but we make we make a separate podcast on the Regurgitated channel called Ejaculated, and we got to like figure out what the like the. You know the, the reason demonetize <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So let's let's run through the gamut here. Pick a soda, any soda. Um, I kind of want was hoping that you'd go from might enjoy to won't enjoy. I think what peanut butter and jelly or pumpkin pie can't be that bad, right? Those those are the ones that I think I might enjoy. So let's what, uh, let's start with peanut butter and jelly. Peanut here. butter and jelly, it is. This is this is peanut butter and jelly. Let's get this. Uh, there you go. This is nice. So we're talking about tools. This Ooh, is a, a ruler, a knife, a rope cutter, a bottle opener, a file. Ooh. We got tools for days. Can you bring it to the airport, or will you get? Will you get? I intentionally yeah. left it at home. They might not catch it, but I wasn't going to risk it. They didn't let me bring fucking shampoo onto the. But that's cool. Yeah, well, it's a liquid. Uh, peanut butter jelly soda. So here's like the that. thing. I it tastes know, like bubble gum. It tastes a, like old bubble gum. A lot of people do this whole like reactor thing. We're like, oh my god, it's so. If it's not yeah. trash, don't even don't 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 like don't act. Yeah, well, is what I'm saying. I'm also like me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not in my character to be like. Aah! Yeah, yeah. Ooh, pot, wait, do that, yeah, we need we need a thumbnail. Can you do that again? There we go. Dude, that looks sick. That's going to be such a good thumbnail for this content. That's crazy. Zach wins a million dollars? A billion. Billion dollars? A billion. Literally, <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. Look it up. It's a fucking 1.3 billion tonight, bitch. That's right. How funny would it be if this fell on the fucking soda? And then, and and then I you couldn't like, turn it in. And then it won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing here, we're doing a little bit of little, little, little pori, pori worry on this one. Pori worry. That's good. Yeah. Not going to be a lot. It's not going to yeah, be yeah. a lot. I, I, I want you to do one gulp off. or like a shot at most worth of all, all right. together. I was, gonna, one, I was I thought, honestly, I thought that one would have been, would have been, I thought, I, I thought, I thought that one would have been, a, I thought that would have been a little better. You sound like someone, you sound like a kid telling out his like brother for doing <laughs> something. <laughs> like, I thought, I, he, 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 I, I, I thought that one, I thought that one would have been, a, I thought. <laughs> Uh, I heard Imagine that- someone listening to this on like speakerphone and their parents are in the other room <laughs> and they're just hearing, what are you listening to? I thought the peanut butter and jelly sandwich would have been a little better. The the peanut butter and jelly I've heard is trash. So it's, it's okay. It's, I'm happy that you don't hate it. I I, I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't. Uh, it's like I thought that one would have been pr- pretty good, to be honest with you. I'm it sounds gonna- like a, maybe a pretty good flavor, but it's not. It's not. I didn't like that that much. It tasted I, like old bubble gum. I, I'm not going to kill you 
I'm not gonna kill you if you if you waste ninety nine percent of each of those bottles or all all of them. 100% oh, they're all no, they're they're hundred percent of them are getting wasted tonight. You wasted but your pumpkin money. Pumpkin pie can't be bad though. You might like the pumpkin I pie. I am hoping I'm drinking. That's literally what I'm cracking open yeah, right now. You might now. actually it's... like the pumpkin pie. I know the sweet corn one is bad. Spoiler, sorry. Ooh. Don't tell me which ones are bad and advanced, you sorry. fuck. Because now sorry. I gotta look at this shit the whole know, time. I and know. I'm already sitting over here looking at the ranch, yep. being like, that shit's gonna fucking oh, the ranch obliterate is gonna be bad, me. For yeah. sure. And, and so you fucking fuck you. <laughs> How about that? I Dude. actually happen to like corn. Maybe I was thinking that would be pleasantly surprised by the, the corn. Well and it's sweet too. And it's it is sweet. You're making a little bit of pie. sugars in there. Go for it. That's pretty good. Is it like actually like soda good or is it like good in comparison to what you just drank? I'll drink a little bit more of this. <laughs> yeah. It tastes I'm like good. root beer. It tastes like a pumpkin-y root beer. Oh, shit. I, I might get some of those for myself now. This 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 pumpkin pie one? Not bad. Bust that shit out around fucking uh, Thanksgiving, y'all. So when you're All done, right, when you're done, give me, you gotta give me like a uh, best to worst okay. in actuality. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I'll rank them in order over here. I'll give them number ratings, too. This peanut butter and jelly, it's a 3.5 out of 10. Really? Okay. It's, 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 you said it's, it wasn't bad. I would think 3.5 out of 10 would be bad. but it's, it's a 4 out of 10, then, because here's the thing. It's not good. Yeah. It can't be over a 5. Right, because 5 would be kind of be like the threshold of like average yeah. to good. Yeah. But like it's, 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 so it's, it's worse. It's worse than a than the middle it's because not average it's yeah. i actively don't like it yeah but it's not like i don't know but it's the pumpkin range. pie one top of the list and honestly i don't think there's much i don't think there's much happening from there out of 10 um next one that i think i would enjoy, enjoy on the list is this bacon bacon what, one what is the pu- uh, pumpkin out of 10 oh the pumpkin out of 10 this isn't this is a um Okay, if we're doing on this list, it's an 8 out of 10 soda. If I'm being real, it's like a 7 out of 10 soda. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, like if, if this was at a restaurant, I probably wouldn't order it. But if it's around Thanksgiving time, I would maybe get one for the novelty of it. Because mm. okay. it's not bad and I would drink it. Yeah. Um, bacon. Bacon soda. If <laughs> I want to say, if you hate me after this. Send me some. Just this. send me some bugs on Amazon. Send me some fucking uh, what are those jelly beans? Thousand ladybugs on yes. Amazon. Send me live. some bean boozled. I meant. I meant to, you're gonna move out I of meant, your house. You're gonna I meant open to, it and then move. <laughs> yeah, right. I meant to ingest, but I mean, if you just want to send me straight up ladybugs, that's fine too. <laughs> just like, just fucking straight up a <laughs> thousand. Just, like, just beer. You're that guy that I show you in the TikTok segments that beer sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Ramen noodles and spaghetti. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. do that with ladybugs. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, I'm getting the shit over with bacon soda. Oh, I didn't pour really quick. I didn't pour the pumpkin. Yeah, do you think? Do you think? I didn't. Oh, that shit's like orange, dude. Does that turn you off a little bit? It's just I'm just thinking of like this sitting in my stomach. You ever do that? You ever eat something mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and it's like it time. tastes good, but you're just like this is inside of my body now i, I think there's that sitting there every time i have coffee and then i have eggs i'm like that my picture in my brain is like but i love coffee and i love eggs and i, I that, love that shit could sit in my belly all day i had both of those things I today like the, i don't like the mixture of them though i don't like the idea of the mixture of them i like i can't even i can even have coffee while eating eggs i just don't like the idea of it being like a ball of shoot up bleh, my tummy you know what that's called autism I was gonna say feces. Feces. Well, that is. Oh, okay. You're saying. Gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Bacon soda. Soda. Oh, I don't like that. That you doesn't even like taste. That. I, no. It doesn't taste like bacon. I mean, kind of. It just tastes. You know, both of these, the peanut butter and jelly and bacon, they taste old. They taste like I found something in the back of my grandparents pantry that's been there since 1978 like, like is it flat no no it just tastes musky and old Oof. anyways go one in the down the hatch <laughs> oh i don't like the color of that I, I i don't know it was just like off red but what you'd expect but i just didn't like it okay now uh, these three are on the 
Yeah. Tail end. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Buffalo wing soda. Do you like buffalo okay. wings? Not particularly, to be honest with you. Really? I don't like the, don't like the but look. It's not a trash flavor. I get why people like it. I like hot sauce, and I get that buffalo sauce is just butter and hot sauce, right? So like something like that, yeah. Yeah, so like I should like buffalo sauce, but it's just never really been my thing. Buffalo sauce get, is my favorite. I like other spicy. I like spicy Asian sauces. Like if there's like a, um, a spicy Korean, spicy Asian. Dude, General sauce, Tso's sauce my is go-to. fucking banging. General Tso's sauce. I've been thinking, so dude, I've been thinking about this fucking General Tso's chicken mm-hmm. at a local place for like two weeks now. Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to like eat better and shit right now. So like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I might not do it, but like I've been fucking thinking about that shit, my guy. Dude, my 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 mom because at my request uh, picked up some General Tso's sauce at the department store she goes to. Bro, every time I make. Why is uh, this one so hard? I don't know. They don't want you to open it. There you go. <laughs> it's radioactive. Uh, I, every time I make like chicken tenders, I just layer that shit on top. So fucking good. That is such a good flavor. But buffalo buffalo uh, flavoring is I love it. I I'll eat it up any day. That was one I was be I'd be excited about. But if if it is actually spicy, if it's like spicy soda, I that'll disgust the shit out of me. Well, it also says here too. In case I don't know why it's advertised like this. I don't know if you can see it. it says artificial. They advertise really? it's it's artificial. Really, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought. Okay, hold on here. Oh, I'm trying something. You know what? I can't believe I'm doing this. This no buffalo shot. wing soda is number two. Really? So out of ten, what is it? You didn't. I don't think you gave your out a of five 10. out of ten. It's not and good. For, and for bacon, but I don't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let, let me let me let me run through them again. Yeah. Let me run through them again. We got let's go let's go seven out of ten on this pumpkin pie. Pretty good. We got five out of ten. Okay. On this buffalo sauce, if you liked buffalo sauce, this might be a six out of ten. Um, we got. I'm going yeah the the four out of ten on this one. I'm going three out of ten on the bacon. Really? Okay. Oh, That's and I gotta interesting. Pour, I gotta pour the buffalo sauce into this. Look, 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 look. Okay. That was a burp. You're gonna your burps are gonna taste like ass. Bad smell, huh? This is content. Um <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. This I'm not a more reaction. No, this is good. I I like you being honest about it. Like you're like, no, this no, is. I'm five. trying. I'm I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really yeah. I'm really trying. Um, yeah, I know that. Like again, what probably gets gets what what the kids probably like. What gets the clicks? What gets the views? Is yeah. Oh, wait, I, I want to get a good. <laughs> I want to get a good face for the thumbnail. <laughs> is this good? Is my eyes like up enough? Yeah. Is it? Is that? Can I cut that out and it looks good? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's good. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's get this shit over with. Sweet corn. Sorry, I kind of ruined this one before you even had it. Yeah, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know yeah. what's funny about that is I thought it was good for a second. There was like that, like that one second like, of like, okay. yeah. There was oh. one second of like, this is not bad, and then I tried to swallow it, and I went, oh. and I was like, yeah. nope, yeah. yep. So, what does it taste like? Can you give me an idea? This um, corn just tastes good. I don't understand how they fuck up the soda. Well, again, it's like an artificial flavoring. You know what I mean? Where it's the- like. Yeah, I like eating cherries, but you know the cherry medicine that's like, yeah. you know, it's like it's not good. That's kind of how I would explain it. You know what I mean? It's like the cherry medicine version of corn flavoring. Mm. Ben Paquette. That's me. Zachary Marshall. I said in the video you would have to pay me to drink this. All right. What's your Venmo? I'm actually, I can't give Venmo. Here. No, I'm actually, that's a, that's a funny story. I'm actually permanently banned from Venmo and that's not a joke. Uh, um, yeah. Tax fraud and shit. It's just a whole thing. It's like a Pokemon trainer when you do that. Ooh. 
taking the hat off, fucking hat, the hat off. off for the ranch dressing hat soda. Off. Hat off for the ranch dressing. Right. Right. Oh. Are you prepared? Mentally, are you prepared? Are you there? Oh, you're just going for it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Whoa. That's trash, but the sweet corn is worse. Really? Yep. Okay. And that's the last one, right? It's the last one. So before you take the shot, I want you to tell me and just give the idea. Like, do, do it in order. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you get me. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to move. We're going to move shit over. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Here we have the uh, the order here. Um, I'll move these. Clo- well, I move these back. Yeah. That's what. That's what works. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's that... fucking awful. Oof. You good? I'm fucking yakking, dude. Wouldn't be called regurgitated if you that's weren't yakking right. it out. First puke on regurgitated. That's exactly right. Okay, number one, pumpkin pumpkin pie. Yeah. That's a that's a seven out of ten. Buffalo wing sauce coming in at number two. Bit of a shocker. I don't actually care for mm. buffalo sauce that much, but that's a that's a five out of ten. PB and J, three out of ten. Um, or no, four out of ten. I'm sorry, four, three, one, zero. Zero for sweet zero corn. Zero for sweet corn. Really. Or two one one zero. I just feel like these are like actual. Like I would never want to put these in my body again. That's incredible. Like if you if you paid, like, I mean, obviously if you paid me money, I would do any of these. I did this shit for free. Yeah. But like you know, for a joke, I would do. You know, like I would genuinely order this during the time of the year. I wouldn't order this all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, like yeah, if yeah. it was like November, yeah, no, I'd order this like yeah. one time. Yeah. This I would never order, but if you were like, haha, drink the fucking buffalo wing thing, I'd be like, okay, cool. These two. I don't ever want to drink these again, but I would for like a bet. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I would like, 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 you know, okay, fine. These you would genuinely have to like pay me money in a bet for to, to drink again. Like I yeah. there's no way in hell. Yeah. Now with all that being said, <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, yucky, yucky, stinky. Keep going. Stinky, poopy, yucky, stinky. Dude, I don't know that. Yucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ever play Fallout, dude? We're loaded. Oh, dude, you, yeah, that's like four whole Nuka Cola bottle caps. Oh, you're going to yak. And you, we, that the the yakking is like the main part of the content here, right? That's the whole reason we're mixing them together, so you can just it's like it's like a epic hack. You can just you know, this is for you, Zach. This is see you wanted you look. You're the guy. You're the guy doing the clip channel and the TikTok. This is going to be the best clip that we possibly could ever have. This is it right here. You don't need to buy me a cigarette, dude. <laughs> Go for it. I'm excited. Okay, here's the thing. Really? That's incredible. Here's the thing. The the sodas that are not that awful are darker sodas. And the mm. sodas that are pretty fucking terrible are the lighter sodas. Mm. So when you mix them all together, I feel like the flavor of the darker sodas prevails. Huh. Does that make sense? That makes 100 sense. So it's like sense, yeah. there's some garbo. Like like I was really concerned about doing all this, and it's not good. It's trash. But I would say, well, this is a zero, and this is a one. This is a one two. You know what I mean? Like it's, Wait, it's, it's sur- it, surprisingly, it, it, the flavors don't make sense. They're fucking. It, it it doesn't make sense in your mouth. But because it doesn't make sense in your mouth, and the the better sodas are the more overpowering flavors. I would rather drink them all mixed up than like this on its own. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And that's, then that's the soda bit. (laughs) 
<laughs> All right, do a little intro, do an outro, do an outro segment right now. I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna clean this up. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thanks everybody for watching the regurgitated podcast soda bit. Zach is going to feel great overnight tonight. His piss isn't going to hurt his penis hole at all. It's going to be great. Every time he burps, he's going to be tasting a lot of different flavors. It's going to be great. So what I want for you guys is to smash that like button and hit subscribe. That way we can do more stuff like this. And you know that you want to see more stuff like this. So clips channel, check this out. Mm-hmm. See you later, guys, on the uh, on the next soda bit. How does it feel knowing you wasted however much money on on that for me to drink little sips of each of them, and then that's and then the content is just like that's a seven out of ten. That's a, that's a seven out of ten. Do you want to know? Do you want to how much do do you want to know how much they were? I'm sure I could look it up and figure it out, but yeah, go ahead and tell me. It it, it was in total tax inclusive. Tax was, inclusive. This is a tax inclusive podcast. This is a tax inclusive. Podcast. We're we're not going to lie. There are taxes. <laughs> I don't know how to look at the uh, so not uh, tax not included. It was twenty four eighty eight. I'm sorry, I missed that completely. Twenty four eighty eight. <laughs> no, it was, it wasn't okay. that expensive if you, if you send me like bean boozle it's gonna be like nine bucks if you send me bugs that's gonna be like 20 bucks if you send me a bomb that's gonna be free because you got that whole thing in your basement so we're, we're gonna be fine i'm gonna go on amazon right now i shouldn't be spending money i i actually just spent a stupid amount of money on some other shit recently um i, I got i got ripped off at a at a at a dinner um Yesterday, actually. Yeah, I paid for everyone's. Well, I I went to a nice place where you pay per person and they only take one card above a certain party size. And I used my card to pay for everyone. And it was someone's birthday. So I offered to pay for them, which is fine. And then someone else just didn't pay me and left without paying me money. And they're not replying to me. And um, they're old coworkers of mine. So it's not like a close friend that I can just like reach out to and be like, hey, bro, where's my money? Um, And so and it's an expensive relatively expensive place to get a dinner at. So I'm just fucked. And then I, um, my friend Ethan made me buy a game <laughs> and I wasn't expecting to do that. Okay, what, so, did you, uh, what game did you buy? Uh, the quarry. I hate that game. I think it's new, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's been out for a few months. I hate that game. We like those story games, even if it's fun to just make fun of. Um, hold on. You know my address. Cause Sean said it five times. So. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to say it again though at some point. All right. Um, um, the quarry is trash though. I, I I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ruin your day. I don't know. I don't know why this. No, would I ruin just spent your day. fifty dollars on it. So okay. So the quarry. Don't spoil anything for me because I spent. Anything. I'm gonna get my shit out of the money. You know how. Ugh. When you. Ugh. You know how, you see bad acting in a show. No, not bad acting. Sorry, the acting's all fine. You see, like, you watch a, uh, a TV show or you watch a movie, and you're like, "Why did that happen? That doesn't make any sense." You'll feel that way every yeah. decision you make in the quarry. That'll that'll be fun though to play with friends. I think. Yeah, yeah. You I know, so. I yeah. watched that game played four different times. I've seen every ending. I've never played it myself, but um, well, here we are. So, uh, dude, I'm working on a new video. Oh yeah, I've heard about this. And and so the it's just about us, me and the boys playing Elden Ring. Uh, we're 100 percenting it, which is going to take forever. We're only 30, about 40 percent of the way through now. We have like 30, 20 hours in it, something like that. Um, the video is already 12 minutes long, which is great. I'm hoping for about 40 minutes of content. Video is a banger. I'm so excited to release it. It's nothing like I've ever released before. It's going to be dope. I'm actually making use of this microphone that I spent $500 on a few years ago. Maybe like a year ago. Um, I'm just excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm hyped to release something that's different than, because, okay. I was horrible. Do you hear that? Ew. And this is the type of riveting content you can get more <laughs> if you subscribe. <laughs> So, <laughs> back you. Oh, fucking A. When Fortnite was popular in 2018. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna do a history lesson for you right quick i just like the the, the the creaking silence this is the type of content you can get when fortnite was back <laughs> so when fortnite was big in like early 2018 i made a video about it it's called finna fortnite on my channel i liked it and we are finna fortnite we are finna fortnite and then i made finna fortnite 2 3 and 4 and then mcc came out on pc and i stopped caring about fortnite so I made uh, how about Halo one, two, and three, and I'm I still have a four that's in progress. I'm kind of I'm really waiting for fucking Halo Infinite Forge. That's going to elevate Boys Nights on Halo to a crazy degree. Have you seen the Forge stuff? <laughs> yes, no, I've been seeing the Forge leaks. Fucking I think, insane, dude. I think honestly, it is. I mean, I, I'm gonna enjoy it because I enjoy Halo Infinite, um, and I frankly don't don't. You know, I don't give a, I don't give a who what you have to say about that. But I do think that they missed the opportunity. The game Halo needs to launch with a forge to be successful. I it's you're, it's, it's way you're, too late. The thing is, though, it's free. I think it. I think True. it changes it. But the, the, changes the people it. have already made up their mind. People have already moved on. So I think you're right. But all I think all it needs is a viral stream or video or something to make people want to play it because Halo Infinite Forge Knights or custom games nights with the boys are going to be unmatched. I'm telling you are going to be unmatched when uh, infinite forge comes out. I watch videos and I'm like, bro, you can make everything that halo MCC had and more. I've been trying to get you to play fucking campaign co-op since so sorry, the last dude. time we were recording. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's whatever. <laughs> it's it's, it's the, the time zone thing the, is really the biggest issue. In the two times you asked me, I was about to go to bed, and I was I was about to play uh, games with the girly. So it's just it's just bad timing. I don't know how much longer it's going to be up, but eventually campaign co op's going to be up in, in, in uh, on its own, and that's going to be fucking rad to play. Um, but uh, so what I what, why I brought up Halo is because Halo, how about Halo Four is going to be probably very backfilled with Halo Infinite Forge stuff because I have not played MCC or Infinite in a while. Actually, it was funny. I said I said uh, on a podcast one, like I played Halo Infinite last week, and I might play it next week. I haven't played Infinite in like a week in some change. I'm gonna, I might play it tomorrow. I, I you know, I, I'm still playing it though. I haven't played it since, <laughs> so um, it's it's it, it, it's boring the shit out of me right now. Yeah. And I like Halo Infinite. Like I get, I get the. <laughs> Halo Infinite is simultaneously a very good game and a fucking trash game yeah. at the same yeah. time. I, you know, I'll, I'll hand this to three, four, three. <laughs> no other game has made me feel this awful and excited about the same game. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, at once. But yeah. I, I have no reason to play it right now. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't either. I, I, I'm the, the alpha pack. Game. Yeah. Do you want I a fucking care. random? a wrist piece you're never going to put on again. So we'll go play the same game mode that's been out already. Like, I don't know. Oh. I have no interest in season two. I started it so I could progress it later if I wanted to. I have no interest in season two because um, I, last man standing is single player only, or like you can't, you can't play with friends. The whole reason yeah. I play Halo is to play with friends. So why the fuck would I play that game mode? Um, but, uh, Halo, yeah, Halo. How, how about Halo Four? Going to be back, uh, you know, backfilled with with that stuff. I'm making this video for Seamless Co-op. It is going to be a fucking banger through and through. I promise you, it's going to be in cinemas soon. It's going to be fucking awesome, and it's totally different than. So what I would do is I would just do funny clip. You hear me talk. You hear the the reaction of the people. Fucking Nintendo music in the background. Classic shit. Now. I have a voiceover as well. So let's fucking go. It's going to be sick. Let's fucking do it. Um, but I'm really excited about that. And I know that I, I talked that um, it's not a spoiler. Uh, I'm, I might need some little fun, little animations. And you, and you said that you'd be down to uh, see what you can do. Yeah, depending on the level of involvement, I'll for sure yeah, put a little animation I mean, in there. For the clips so far that I've needed animations for it, like two seconds each and it's a fair it's just like you know whatever um but it's gonna be sick and i'm really excited for it i, I literally open up vegas to what vegas to watch uh the the fucking 
my 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 project file like over and over and over again. I fucking I'm so excited about it. I do the same thing it. too. That that's yeah. how I know I enjoy doing like editing and creative yeah. stuff is when I I make something and then I just sit there. It's not even done yet, but I'm yeah. just watching it over and over and yeah, over I watch and it over and over and over and it, over again. For me it's it's not only is it just fun to watch and I I, I laugh at my own video that I have seen the same clip a thousand times. It's like I learned like pacing. What is weird? Is this is this for voiceover work? I've I've never done any voiceover anything on top of a video. I've never like pre-recorded anything besides CAG new stuff. But I didn't. You, really have, care a, you about have a you have a decent enough voice to like and a good microphone apparently to get have, some some good voiceover I stuff have, done. I have a little bit of a lisp, and Alexis makes fun of me for it all the time. I have a li- like it comes out in specific words, but the thing is, I'm not a good voice actor. So I, well, I'm trying, I, I'm going to re-record most of the voiceover work because it's just me going like, and then we walked to Ag Hill Lake North. And I'm like, why do I talk like that? I don't talk like that. <laughs> it's just weird. I, I think that's cool though. I don't yeah. know. You got to do a little narrator voice. Yeah. Well, it, it, I, it, I don't like the way I, 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 I have a very bizarre way of speaking and I don't think it works that well for like voice narrations mm-hmm. and stuff like well, i, I kind of cringe hearing my voice back but i do enjoy the way that i talk and i think that it makes sense for like um certain things like a podcast or if i wouldn't do stand up again i i think i think it makes sense there i don't think it makes sense for like a i am david attenborough and yeah. here's the yeah the something or whatever i've i've never scripted i've scripted <laughs> out of videos before but i've never scripted out something that i'm actually going to go through with making mm. I, i've realized i can't read well I mean, I've, I've, I've known I can't read well. I've never had, I've never been, I can read, but I don't digest the information when I read and I read like a robot. So I have to like reread a line like a thousand times. I'm like, so uh, Evan said this really funny joke. And I'm, and I'm like, why do I, I'm talking like an idiot and I feel I, like I need to just be like, oh, and Evan made a really funny joke or something like, you know, I need to be more natural about it. There was a point, there's, the thing is, I want it to be a, a mixture of that annoying in uh, that annoying narrator voice and like just being natural and cool. And I, I don't want it to be all all one. I want to be watch a mix- uh, watch a lot of like video essays and see what they do. That's kind of what I'm what I'm what I'm doing. The only thing is like <laughs> how do how do I describe this without? I don't I don't want to like get give any of the content away because I have friends specifically that want to see it when it's done and only when it's done. Um, but friends that I play the game with. Um, but there'll be like times where like something stupid will happen. And I'll be like, I, I don't, I'll be like, I don't know why that happened. Or like, I, I don't know what the fuck happened there. But then I'm like, anyway, I'm going to, you know, I, I, I switch from like natural to, and I, I'm trying to find a good balance and I'm trying to see how like pacing works with that. It's very odd. And it's something I've never had to deal with before, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think, I think starting this podcast where we did, um, it's a really interesting point because I feel like we both have done stuff before, but we're both like getting back into the swing of things and really trying to like figure shit out again. And I think that's like interesting for content too. It might seem shitty right now when there's like no one watching, right? Or very few people watching. And, um, you know, this stuff hasn't quite really panned out yet. But I feel like some of the most interesting content is like watching something get built. You know what I, I mean? Like, um, I used to watch people edit. Not not for tips. I would just watch people edit just for funsies, and that, that's super cringe because I'm I'm I, I I work with what I got. I'm not an incredible editor, I don't think, but I work with what I got. I think to a degree. But I used to love watching. I'm gonna push you on. Keep edit. getting the the premiere. I'm gonna I know. push. And it's not even because I think you're. I think you do phenomenal edits too. I'm just sick and tired of seeing you like constantly have to worry about shit crashing. Not that premiere doesn't fucking crash, but yeah. like it, it does. It won't be on the same level as your sony vegas crashes and so i know we never talked about this and i and i think that it would be interesting too episode two was a was a fucking tragedy that video game came out the monday after so it was it's a tragedy to me it's nobody else cares but uh it, it came out on the monday after the friday that it was supposed to because it kept crashing vegas and then I did, the, and the same thing happened with episode five, but I got it out a day later because I figured out what the problem was pretty, you know, I, I learned a lot from episode two. So fun fact for anybody who gives a shit, if you uh, start up a, pro- a project file and you put enough editing, editing, editing in, editing into it. Oh, dude, that's just nasty. 
yeah. if you put enough editing into it. <laughs> that's the clip. Ugh. That's oh, dude, that's just nasty. Nasty is such a, like a tw- like a 1980s term. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, if you if you start a uh, 60 FPS project file and you render the the project file in 30 FPS and with a lot of editing, it'll just crash. Whenever I did not, whenever I started with a 30 FPS project file, it never crashed when I rendered. Don't know why that's a thing. Very annoying. I just have to like render it in chunks and they can be chunks that are like this big, especially with the TikTok segment. Fucking rip because there were like a thousand fucking layers. Um, but. No I, TikTok segment. Ben cut it. Big boss Ben <laughs> said no more TikTok <laughs> segments. No, we're not. You know what? You know what we're not doing? The podcast. See you later. Uh, no, um, uh, dude, I'm know. about to win a billion dollars in like three minutes. Oh shit! How do we? <laughs> how, how do we like? I don't want to watch it. How do we learn that information actively? Like what's a website, are? and then you can go to watch the draw. There's a, there's a website. Thankfully, if I win a billion dollars, this will be redeemed before <laughs> this episode airs. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hold on, I'm sending the website to Powerball? you. Powerball? Yeah, send me, send me, send me, send me. It's Mega Millions, right? Yeah, yeah, I need, yeah, yeah I might yeah. need to change my pants. I think I should myself. I bought three three plays, actually. I bought three plays. And Ooh. I interrupted your technical story to tell you about the lottery. I'm not... No, you're good. I don't, I don't I don't remember. I think I just shit myself, though. Seriously? No, but I, I want to change my pants because I'm sweating because I have to I have to keep the window open, but the heat wave is just making me sweat my ass off, and I don't want to turn my air oh, conditioner on. Oh, how hot is it there? Well, it, this this is going to be one of those things where I'm like, it's 90 degrees, and you're like, it's 90 every day in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, you know what's funny today? Uh, actually, recently it's been a little bit cooler. We, we got some rain, which it was like raining, and then like a hundred and something, which was awful. Um today it's actually not that bad we had a high of 99 degrees today which might sound very high but like although there's 42 percent humidity at 99 degrees today yeah. um so you win some or lose some well it's here it's like 80 and really humid yeah at, in the at, at fucking 11 p.m which is not normal it's normally like 50 and dry <laughs> Yeah, but the point is, is like earlier in the week, it was like 30% humidity at like 115. And then this week, it's 99 at 47% humidity. Yeah. So I'm whatever, my pants. I'm watching these numbers, though. I'm, I'm refreshing it over and over again. Hold on, let me. It's, yeah, it looks like it's refreshing. People, I think people are on the website because <laughs> people are crashing it. Because it's crashing, yeah. It's like the numbers are like not loading. Oh, no, it's funny. Not. They let me enter in the net. They're all text boxes now because they're letting me enter in the numbers. Dude, <laughs> easy money. Infinite money glitch. Infinite money glitch part two. <laughs> you are now in line. Thank you for your patience. You're looking at a mirror. I'm like, is he dumb? <laughs> You're looking at a mirror. <laughs> now, what will be interesting with the, with the Mega Millions is the reason why it's so high is because no one won last week. And so it just kept going. Now, could you imagine if no one won this week and it kept going? Oh, then we have more content. Uh, do whatever. you do it next weekend, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweating so much, dude. Why is it so fucking muggy? Did you change your fucking pants? I did. Now my chest is sweating. I can't. I, I am. I, what do you want me to wear? A fucking wife beater, bro? I'm already. I already am one of those. All right, what? <laughs> uh, my, my favorite uh, joke alex did i make the make the jokes you know how like most couples i feel like are kind of like iffy about like cheating jokes and like breakup jokes you know there's kind of kind of like a, a weird area for a lot of couples i don't like, mind i'm gonna break jokes, up with you but, but I, you know that it's gonna you know what i mean be okay yeah yeah we make those jokes constantly and it's so funny it is so funny like like at, the other you made that one clip of i don't remember which podcast it was but i'm like now i hit her and you're like no you don't don't, keep going keep going now you're getting lost in new york city subway what what oh yeah you go first you finish the thought (laughs) it's just just like that kind of shit is so funny to me i don't know why i i i i I do the same thing where i say fucked up shit all the time but like the the per the person knows you know what i mean yeah yeah there's that level of trust where you're well i mean 
And the person you're telling the joke to hopefully also understands context that obviously I wouldn't just say I beat my girlfriend. <laughs> I just add yeah, I that. mean, you have to really be a, a fucking prick to be like, yeah, yeah. I fucking yeah. beat my wife. Just and- beat the shit out of her sometimes. It's like not a big deal. You know, the black guy kind of looks like makeup, so it's like kind of a win-win for both of us. What? What? What's going on? The black guy kind of looks the like makeup. black ma- eye. Oh, oh, I thought you said the black guy kind of looks like makeup. And I was like, are you talking uh, about blackface right now? <laughs> I can't laugh. I'm fat now. The regurgitated podcast. Just be going, oh, oh, if this is the trailer. Oh, oh, and then you're like, <laughs> uh, dude, we got to get it at some point down the line. We got to make a TikTok of us just vomiting. Once we get, you know, we got to get the dude. first one out of the way and then. My my favorite clip. Oh, now I'm in line too. My favorite clip I've uploaded, and it's a shame that it got okay views, but it didn't like super blow up. It was the very first one on the YouTube Shorts too. It was the super cut of us eating McDonald's and then just you are useless being gross. Or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> she came right up in McDonald's. Beautiful. What is the video? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that guy who commented. Uh, this is us now re- responding to the haters. Yeah. The guy that posted this video is useless. Yeah, that's, I don't know what the fuck to do with it either, bro. I, I that is such. I I I'm sure it's just somebody that's just like scrolling through the shorts page and just oh, and I'm just sure. like like this video is dumb. Doesn't find burps funny. Doesn't find farting funny. Doesn't it, find apparently that, like, the, the guy deleted ASMR. the comment too. Mm. Well, if you don't find it funny, like. I would do the same thing. That's just, you just, you know, be like this video is useless. The funniest way to say that though, like that's just a goofy way to say that this video is useless. What the fuck are we? The word useless is such, it's just so funny in that context. I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. Yeah, no, yeah, too. is because he could have just said this is bad. I hate this or whatever. This is but just trying to burn us with this video is useless. It's like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, that's fine. Like, you're right. You're right. You're I, I think, I think, I think we had this discussion, too, in regards to, like, you know, hate comments and everything, where, like, if you left a, a, a bad response on, like, the last podcast, the one with Unabomber and everything, it's, like, fine. It's edgy humor. Like, yeah. it's, I expect it. It's it's whatever. But, like, the video that that guy replied to, this video is useless, is just literally us taking bites of food and then making dumb noises. Which, yeah, like, yeah, it's funny, useless, yeah. but just, like, to leave a comment and just be angry about it is so, like, yeah. weird. To be like, I could never see myself coming across that on my feed and being like, I gotta let these guys know yeah. I don't enjoy this content. It's like, yeah. what the fuck? I, who cares? We, uh, we trolled a kid. Evan and I trolled a kid years ago. It was kind of mean. It wasn't really mean. I think it was mean by accident. But there was this kid who made a YouTube video. And he said, shout out to all the haters or something. He was like like an eight-year-old kid. And we just put in the comment, hate. Not like, I hate you. This video is like, just the word hate. Just because we thought it would be funny. I mean, I don't, yeah, it was both of us, actually. It was both of us. He made a response video. He said, please don't hate that video. And he commented on our on, on some of our videos, and he said, and he told me on our videos or your videos, my videos. And okay. I, I don't know. Do you know the game Tower Unite? No. It's like uh, oh, Air Air Five Two Four. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I got that too. This shit's um, like down down. I made a, I made a video on Tower Unite, which is like a it's a game meant to be social. Like it's a social game, and he told me I sucked at it. You said you suck at this. I'm like, fuck, man. It's like I suck at VR chat. God damn it. Oh, there's the, they uploaded the video of the drawing on uh, YouTube. Go ahead. Oh, dude. Can you, oh, I, I have that too. I actually did win money, but not the jackpot. <laughs> I'd hope not. That'd be um, crazy. Well, I, I let me, uh, here's the, here's the thing though. I don't know how much money I won because the website won't load. Because that has the guide on it. Yes, yes. I think I may have only won like $4 or something. Oh, hey, here dude. we go. <laughs> I still had it preloaded at first. Okay, hold on. We can officially title this, Ben. We win the lottery. We win the Mega Millions lottery on this podcast. Because this ticket right here has won me a whopping 
two dollars. Let's go. And he spent six Let's on go, it. Let's buddy. go, buddy. Let's go. I spent. I let's go. I got thirty percent off a lotto ticket. <laughs> Dude, there you go. That was such a we, funny. We we spent we time won the lottery. We spent time waiting for that for for the two dollar reveal. And you know what? It was worth it because I was with my boy. That's that's what that's what it is. Wait, what is the what is this what is the meme the the hot ones meme? Look at us, you know. Look at us. Look at us now. Look at us look now. Look at us now. I won thought. the fucking lottery tonight, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Can't tell me shit. I'm quitting my job. <laughs> so now that we've won the lottery and you've <laughs> you've, you've made yourself terminally ill with all of those sodas, do we have any other content? <laughs> You don't have to. Oh, I thought you were going to get back on your bed and go to sleep like the last video, but I didn't clap yet. <laughs> oh, death. That's so funny. Wait, I can see wait. the light. I can see the light of your of your headphones. OK, 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 OK. This is uh, this is an art piece. This is a uh, modern art piece. It's called uh, it, 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 either something about metamorphosis or butterflies or childbirth. Pick. OK, like uh, like. Uh, uh, section C. I'm running out of oxygen. You need to hurry up. Section C by uh, Zachel Marshery. Is that is that funny? Is that a funny enough name? Oh, it's very funny. Dude, why do they make these if you can just break them? That's actually really you look really strong when you when you just rip it open. I need. I need. I actually. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's a great face for something. But I need, I need your help, Zach. I wanted to name this video. We got censored. You want my help. I, we need. I wanted to make. We got censored. Yeah, because that's funny content. But we now did. we won the lottery. What do we do? Uh, I, here's the thing. I feel like the lottery is like current events, and like, and, and saying we win the lottery live on on podcast is like definitely going to get views. But the the censored part is also funny too. I know it's it could be a it could be six because you do the thing where you do the the number of the episode dot and then the title. Um, it could be this is episode six, correct? Yeah. It could be six dot. We win the lottery! Exclamation point. Plus, then we got censored or something. Yeah, something yeah, along we, those we gotta figure out something. Yeah. Um. Can you? But can you do me a favor? Can you take your lotto ticket? And do like a with a, like close to the camera. <laughs> That's perfect. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna oh dude, this can be the best thumbnail out right now. Oh, that's good. Well, you gotta put more. You gotta put more emotion in the eyebrows. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect, dude. That's gonna be such a good thumbnail. Holy shit! Dude, making content on the fly. That's fire. That's what that is. Hey, you want to make a TikTok? Oh, I spy with my little eye. I don't me, know the word. Me, me and Ethan are rewatching uh, Mr. Show right now. Which, um, you know, if you're watching Better Call Saul, it's the same guy, Bob Odenkirk. He had a sketch comedy show in the '90s with Mr. David Cross. If you know Arrested Development, and um, there's a couple scenes throughout the show where he tries to be like a hip hop rapper and Bob Odenkirk's version of like hip hop. He always does the same thing. He always does a parody of hip hop hooray by naughty by nature. If you don't know, that's the song that goes hip hop hooray. Mm. Oh, mm. Hey. And so it's like at least three bits, probably more in the whole show where he tries to be a rapper. And every time he's, he's, he's it's Bob Odenkirk and he's just going, Hey! Oh! Hey! Hip hip hip! Hi! What, when was oh, this? The nineties? Rap rap rippity rap rap. Yeah, it's like nineteen ninety four to ninety eight or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That was yeah. that was kind of like how people. That was the stereotypical rapper. Yeah, but it's very funny how like he only does the same naughty yeah. by nature parody. Yeah. It's like across years too, right? Like mm. in every season, he's doing like the the naughty by nature parody. You like uh. <laughs> Did you ever find those like, like for example, like scary movie that like John? Did you ever find those funny? Um, I did when I was a kid. I couldn't tell you if they were funny now. I you know I, I, mean? I enjoyed them and I thought they were fucking hilarious when I was a kid. I I watched Scary Movie two, I think it was recently, 
It was all right. Mm. I remember it was really funny. First of all, Charlie Sheen. Ha ha. That's that's Charlie Dude, I'm, Sheen. I'm by winning. <laughs> I have Tiger's blood. <laughs> Dude. Dude. The podcast title. We get Tiger's blood. <laughs> we get Charlie Sheen. Uh, when Charlie Sheen comes on as a guest. Oh, were we going to do that? For, oh, I don't want to spoil shit here, but that idea. The Rock Paper Scissors about? idea? Yeah. I think we are, yeah. Okay. We need sh- someone else on for that, though. We do. We need someone to play Rock Paper Scissors. I, I don't, I don't, no. why, I, I mean, I think that just saying that is enough to get like a bunch of viewers to join. Like, hey, we're playing Rock Paper Scissors, but that's all the context we can give you. Hey, dude. You're not going to name me. drop anyone? Hit no, hit me right now. Oh, 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 oh. Mark, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, there's got to be a delay here or something. But let's go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I always choose ah, scissors. Two out of three? I lose every time. All right. I lose every time because I always go scissors. And people know I always go scissors, so they always go rock. <laughs> I do it every time. I was at... um. I was at a. It was so weird when I went to Six Flags the other week. There was some guy who was. Huh? You went to Six Flags the other week. Yeah, I told you about it. I, I'm I'm watching you struggle, and it has not been three hours. That is a lie. Oh no, not Persian red. Let's see. Ew. Um. Yeah, what you, I told you all about it. Six Flags and the the spinning and the upside down. Oh yeah, okay, I remember. When I went there, there was a we I did rock paper scissors. I think it was with Alexis, maybe, maybe it was Joe. And I said rock paper scissors shoot, and I lost. And there was a guy who was like, should have gone rock. I'm like, I know what I should have done. No, I, I, I should have gone paper. I'm like, I know what I should have done. I understand that I should have gone paper. <laughs> That's just it was just so weird. It was just a random dude. Oh my god. Dude, what's the loudest noise you can make without getting in trouble right now? Um, <laughs> shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, here's the thing. I wouldn't get in trouble. It would more so just be like awkward conversations afterwards, but no one's going to get me in trouble for anything. Yeah. I could, I could ah! like, I could like clap. Like nobody's going to hear that. I yelled in our last episode, right? Where I was like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? But I did it uh, louder than you, that. You yelled at Sean when he No, I was like joking he- about you. Actually, it was about the Six Flags thing. Yeah, because you said this. you were yelling at your friend to shut up on the ride. Oh, yeah. And yes, then I yes, mocked you, yes. being like, You're going to shut the fuck up? You're correct. You were very correct. Um, and yeah, and then you yelled at Sean because he's a fucking weirdo. Um, and dude, Sean is so funny because we're kicking him off. Like, it's crazy how funny that is. That he's, he's off the second the time he's been yeah, kicked we off. Gave him, gave him a, we gave him a chance, you know, but not everybody. Uh, you know, not everybody's meant for the, like the, all the, you know, all the eyes on you. You know what I mean? You just you get a little bit nervous. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get my sodi pop. I'll be right back. Oh, Hold do on. it. Do it. Yeah, do it. That was a false alarm that I was told there's soda here, but no one's home. Let's go. <laughs> You're just like walk, walking around aimlessly. To find yeah. soda? I, I got a message being like, it, we're here. And then I'm like, no one, no one, no one's here. <laughs> oh, they, they, meant, so. they, they meant like at. The, the place to get the soda? Is that what you mean? They meant? All right. I'm not at a place to get a soda. So <laughs> I hope that's not what it was so, meant. So, Zach, since yeah. in your regurgitated hour and a half plus in fashion, I know we're a little running out of content a little bit, right? I'm getting a, you know, I'm getting a little sleepy. You know, sometimes I kind of uh, slow down a little bit when I'm sleepy. <sighs> So I'm going to use uh, content from a very funny man, kind of, kind of from a funny man, not kind of funny, the man. Um, we haven't done this in a while. You've liked some pretty funny tweets recently. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not uh, we're not waiting for Sean for this one. Nope. Fuck that kid. He's kicked off. What do you mean? Waiting. <laughs> okay, gotcha. This, this is a pretty good tweet. I keep hitting the, the the mic wire and it's pissing me off. Here's a good tweet. 
Someone asked me to name two structures that hold water. I was like, well, damn. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. That's like a dad joke. Don't invite me to your house if your floor going to be seasoning my feet. I've, <laughs> I've been to so many houses that it feels like I'm walking on like sand, bro. Because it's just like, it's just, it's just dirty. I don't know if I get that, but I, I oftentimes am like walking around barefoot somewhere and then I notice my feet just get dirty as fuck. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, I saw pictures of that online, dude. Dude, my under my desk <laughs> is all foot dust. Foot dust. Yeah, really fucking nasty. I'll take a picture. I don't. I, I haven't vacuumed. I haven't vacuumed under my desk in fucking. Picture of? I'll, I'll take a picture of my foot dust. You want to see my foot dust? You're gonna think it was taken down for sexual content. That's true. That's true. That's true. Never, never mind. I like the camo pants. You you look like a a, a guy that that dropped. You look like a military dropout. I look like Dick Cheney's the guy that sh- got shot by Dick Cheney. You know what you look like? You know those like guys that are actors and they want to be like big macho military men in like action movies, but they don't want to like actually get in shape. Right. But they still play those characters. Yeah. That's what you look like. You look like like a how Steven Seagal does like Kung Fu and badass action movies mm. all the time where he's like a big military guy, but he's just still some fat old dude. That's like who you are right now. Not that you're some fat old dude, but you know what I mean? You're oh, obviously yeah. not 26. in like military shape, but you're just yeah. still rocking the military attire. I look like I look like um, I'm trying r- really hard. So this tweet, <laughs> my, my girlfriend like this. I don't know what this means. My girlfriend like this and trying to send it to me. Seeing your relationships inspire us to be single. Don't know what that means for me. I think that that would be a good thing, right? It's a good thing if you're single. It's a bad thing if you're the person in the relationship they're referring to. Let's go. (laughs) So, (laughs) okay. This This is a tweet you liked. Okay. I traded Obama be like, uh, let me be clear. Let me pee clear. That's so <laughs> dumb. That's such a stupid joke. Oh, uh, you like the tweet that it's just taffy being made, and then the the, the caption is this probably feels so good if you're taffy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dude, imagine that though. Imagine being fucking taffy being pulled like that. You ever watch a full breakdown of taffy being oh, pulled? Yeah, and it goes, yeah, it goes from like the color to being clear back to like the color yep. again. Yeah, it's fucking. It's all crazy. smooth and shit. Yeah, Ooh, I'd love fucking to be. Rad. Oh, oh, to be taffy being pulled. Oh, to be taffy. Uh, there's this tweet that you liked. When I was a kid, I had this game called Worm Church, where I'd bring worms to my room and read the read them the Bible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reading them the Bible. Uh, you had, if I had a GF, I would fe- feed her this. And it's like a bug cracker. I can't see that. You, you'll get it. What a, I'd post. <laughs> uh, you like, you, oh, no, this wasn't you. Uh, I'm in her pushy like heave ho. <laughs> this is something you liked. <laughs> heave. I wish a very big boy grilling on the roof energy to all my followers this weekend. I don't know what that means. I don't know what oh, that actually, means. Actually, you know, I you know you know what's funny? I think when I liked that tweet, I just thought, oh yeah, it's funny. Just big boy grilling on the roof. I have big boy grilling on the roof energy. But I think it is a viral video. It's a guy, yeah, yeah, I, I know this now. It's a these guys are on a roof, these two fine young African American gentlemen, and one guy's rapping and the other guy is in like, sh- he's like shirtless with like, he's like a real big fat black guy and he's shirtless, but he has like a chef hat on and a spatula on like a, a hand. And he's like doing this dance. He's like climbing through a window to like get to the roof. Mm. And then he just does this little like dance. And then the other guy is like rapping about like big boy grilling on the roof. <laughs> You'll so find good. it. It's funny. Yeah, I think it was part of the, the tweet. I ain't gonna be a big boy on the roof. But yeah. Uh, here's another tweet by you. You're in her DMs. I'm on Google looking up nutrient-rich soils. <laughs> I'd keep her in if she was a worm. It's, like, it's so dumb. Uh, why don't I talk too much? I don't like him that much. Next time, next time we do this show, there'll be there'll be bits. Oh yeah, there'll be bits. There'll be jokes. Hopefully we can get a. Hopefully we can get uh, a third a third person. Simp ass, fucking Sean, stupid ugly ass Sean. 
I don't know. I just went with what Sean had. I had, I had to go tweet. I had to go past all the fucking Better Call Saul tweets. <laughs> I was looking for minions. I or caught something up again, and then dude. I started liking shit. All right, give me a yeah, break. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Um, but I think that's a good place to call it. What time is it? It's 11:30 my time. About two hours of, of thing. It's gonna, probably going to be cut down 15 or so minutes of that. 30 minutes even. Hey, motherfuckers. Two hours even. Hey, motherfuckers. If you if you if you somehow got through all of this, subscribe. God damn it. You know what I mean? You know, you know, like, like you're getting it on the ground floor. You're an early investor right. to this show. Right. You're going to see this shit grow. Right. It's not a scam. I mean, we're not going to, we, we want your money, but like, MLM. I mean, how do we make this an MLM? They're, they're Andrew always. Tate. Yeah. Andrew Tate. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep it topical. Uh, you know what? You know what's funny? Let's, let's do this right now. Yeah. Clip, clip, clip this starting here. <clears throat> okay. You just see Andrew Tate taking over all of TikTok and YouTube shorts, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone wants to make Andrew Tate content, which is mm -hmm. good for him because it feeds back into the Andrew Tate loop of content getting pushed that features Andrew Tate, whether it's good or bad. Um, but then all the other people, all, all, all of these content creators, I don't know why I'm waving around my tool now. Um, all these other content creators love to make Andrew Tate content because they get to play the game, right? Like their content's mm -hmm. now in the mm -hmm. ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. We're going to offer zero commentary on Andrew Tate. We're not going to comment on him at all. We're not going to be pro Andrew Tate. We're not going to be anti Andrew Tate. We're, we're not going to like do any kind of reactionary stuff. But we're going to clip this and we're going to put it into the the algorithm. This this clip that you're watching right now is on either YouTube Shorts or TikTok. And what's funny about this bit is you might be like, "This isn't funny." You're just explaining it, it, how you feel about Andrew Tate and how his social media clips work. But what makes this so funny is you wasted so much of your fucking stupid ass time yep. listening to me talk about Andrew Tate for zero payoff. You tell Fuck him. you. You tell him. <laughs> That's right. Well, you, you gotta, you gotta keep it in. That wasn't 60 seconds. You gotta keep it within 30, 60 seconds. So give like a, give like a 10 second, just like rounded off version. That was more than 60 seconds. Am I dumb? I felt like I don't more, think way we more time. Than this. Okay. 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 I feel so happy that the podcast listeners are still listening to this. Yeah, they're thing. here. They're here. But we'll do the we'll do the bit again. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Let's get a timer out. Hold on. So you know how Andrew Tate is like taking over all of the social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, but probably even beyond that, right? Yes, I You're do. Aware of this? I am. Yeah. So I, I mean, the, the whole the whole thing is all of these YouTube content creators want to be getting in on this Andrew Tate drama and it feeds into his ego, right? Because, you know, he gets to get this content pushed out, whether it's good or bad for him. Uh, and then these YouTube content creators, man, they just, they just, they just, they just keep going, man. They just, they get a little piece of the pie, a little piece of the action too. They, they are getting their content pushed because that gets hashtagged. SEO'd, metadata to Andrew right, yeah, Tate. Yeah. Everyone else that likes Andrew Tate content is now getting their faster, content faster, too. Faster, 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 Ooh. Yeah, and so this is the, what, what makes this bit interesting, what makes this bit clippable. There's zero commentary on Andrew Tate. I don't give a fuck about Andrew Tate, but we're just putting this in here to waste your stupid ass fucking, fucking time. Fucking incel Subscribe. dumbass. Subscribe. Fucking There's dumbass. There's no Andrew Subscribe Tate content end. here, bitch. Subscribe to the channel. That was I, I, I under a minute. I, I don't know. I almost that was 58 seconds. I've been working too much. I said subscribe to the census first. I don't know why <laughs> I would have said that. Subscribe to the channel here. We welcome you with open arms. Even if you think our videos are useless, we still love you. Even if you want to censor us, our videos are useless. You. Here's the thing. You can comment. This video is useless. And what's funny is you'll get a reply and like from us because you're absolutely right. Fan engagement. See, that's how that's how you get big on YouTube. And we'll explain more about that next episode when we inevitably get many more subscribers and explain to you the success story that is regurgitated. But if for we now, get 100 subscribers, I will I will find a way to get people to like leave voicemails at least. It might not be a call in live show or something until like later, later, later on. But yeah. if we can hit 100 subscribers, I'll find a way to have people leave a voicemail. I'm trying to think like. We gotta have a hundred. We gotta have a ten subscriber special. Are we? Are we? At, are we at ten? We are at ten. We hit ten. Ten subscriber special right here. We, we no. Had fucking we already soda. have a title. We already have too many titles for this. <laughs> next episode. Well, we got a giveaway next episode. Right. So that'll be our. We 10 really subscriber do. We special. genuinely do. Yeah. We genuinely do have a giveaway next episode. Next episode will be our ten subscriber special. Or if we have eleven subscribers by then, we'll do a fucking eleven subscriber okay. special. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's I think that's a good, great place to, to to end off because I think after this, 
I'm not going to be alive any longer. Let's fucking go. Really? You're, I'm the one that had to drink the fucking sodi pops. Well, you're going to die. You're going to die of natural causes. I'm not. Well, pseudo natural radiation, but I'm going to die. You think the coroner is going to agree with that? Hmm? The coroner? You think the coroner is going to look at the ranch soda? (laughs) Shut the fuck up. (laughs) You you think the coroner is going to look at the ranch soda in my belly and rule natural causes? There's nothing natural about that. It's actually sweet corn soda, first of all. I don't don't mean to actually, but it's sweet corn. Corn would be different. I said ranch, didn't I? Fuck. Did you? Do you think you did say ranch? <laughs> you said coroner, so I was on the corn thing. The ranch <laughs> you, thought, well, well, you confused coroner with cord something, and then you also thought it was corn? Cor- well, you said that you said there was a guy that's shucking corn that's going to look at your stomach, and he was going to... Replay. S- Do a slow-mo black and white replay. You can show me this. Does this keep <laughs> happening to you? <laughs> Uh, this is the worst day of my life. I used to be in black and white slow mo every every other week. Wait, can you? I'll but since be- I subscribe to the Regurgitated podcast, I haven't been in black and white slow motion for months. So here's a good idea. With that said, a, uh, like a like a um, uh, stock footage of a lady going like, and then I'm cured. <laughs> <laughs> what you should do 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 a double speed advertisement for the channel, and I'll do a half speed advertisement of the channel, and we can do it at the same time. We don't have a script to follow, though. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. That's too boring. Do you, you, hey. you on any medication? Am I on any medication? Yeah. Um, not at this moment. I'm going to down all of my stomach acid stabilizers and just die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There, there might be. Hey, stay subscribed for future updates on my medication. <laughs> and on my, and on my. Uh, if you're interested in my medical history, please press subscribe. <laughs> hey, dude, I gotta say, best episode yet. Oh, there always are. You think so? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I mean, I think this is. I think this is like. I feel like what we do is we we I I look at the time and I'm like that's not enough time to make a whole video and then I'm like and then we kind of just. Talk. You know, I want to make this. Here's the here's here's my short term vision. We talked a lot about, and I know we're gonna wrap this up soon. We talked a lot about like long term visions here. It's so like what we want to actually do in terms of content, or if money started to come in from this thing or whatever. But here's what we got to focus on in the short term. How do we make this funny? We gotta find funny people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey, we'll get funny people on. I here. said people, not per. The only one. I mean, I'd say half the people here are funny. You you can guess who you do you think? Um, the stand up comedian. We need to find a way to make this show. I'm not a stand up comedian. Let me make that very clear. No. I said I did stand up comedy before, and I'm thinking about doing it again. But I'm not a stand up comedian. Hi, dude. Listen, I've heard one of your on yeah, one of your things on stage because you put it on YouTube. It That's funny. no longer on YouTube, by the way. It was, not, <laughs> but it was funny. It was funny. You know what's funny? That's. Um, when I was thinking about content I could still do for stand up, that same opening joke was what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, really? And I was like, really? Am I going to be doing the same joke that I, I was doing at I, 17 years old? Was, that video, by the way, if you, you see me do stand up, I was 17 years old. What is the what is the opening joke? I don't remember what the opening joke was. I don't want to give away my act here, but no, it's um, I don't want to ever have kids because no, it's I don't want to have kids because I don't want to have to spank a guy that looks like me. That's a good joke. That's yeah. a good joke, though. Yeah, and good. then I have uh, um because usually so like, here's the thing. If you go to these open mic nights, some people fucking kill it. Don't get me wrong. If you go to these open mic nights, a lot of people just fucking kill it. But you get a lot of um so um I was at the store the other day and um can you believe what milk costs now? You know what I mean? And that's the thing. So like to have some guy go up there, or which even worse, like you know, current events, like you know when you go to an open mic night, everyone's talking about the same current event. When you know, I, I did stand up a little bit right after Donald Trump was elected president. And gosh and golly gee, it was. it was like every other open mic night. Can you believe we elected Orange Man to the um, uh, mm-hmm. Oval Office? Mm-hmm. What the heck is up with that? I don't know why every open micer that sucks is a Muppet, but you, did get you the, actually you did that as a perfect Jordan Peterson impression. 
Can you say? Can you say a woke moralist Listen or here, something? Woke moralist. We'll see who cancels. Who. That's actually so good, though. That you literally sound like him. I only eat meat. Um, it cured my leukemia, and um, I'm I'm. Uh, Dude, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck else Jordan Peterson says. I don't know. Idea. Um, doesn't he? Didn't he like cry? Isn't he like known for crying? Yeah, I don't know. Cried a few times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you you get the picture. Like you go to these yeah. open mic nights, and people just regurgitate the same Deep content rock. over and over and over again. Um, it, 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 that's just not funny. And so to go up there and just kind of cut through that and be like, I don't want to spank a guy that looks. I don't want to have kids because I don't want to spank a guy that looks like me. People go like, the fuck? You know yeah, what I mean? Oh. The issue is, I always got last with that opener. I really yeah. genuinely did. Yeah. The issue is after that <laughs> i yeah. would bomb yeah. like a motherfucker yeah, I knew, yeah, I knew it. yeah um but um i have a couple related things to that now but we'll 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 see all right zach idea content idea maybe in her next time maybe for a few in, in, a, in a little bit we do oh we do for each other we do stand-up routines I would. I'd be very curious to see you put together a stand-up routine. It's gonna be trap. I'm. I'm not. I. I told you I can't read. I'm gonna be like, isn't it funny <laughs> that milk cost expensive? <laughs> yeah. Here's the. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with that. A part of you wants to say no, but I feel like it would be good to like put a time barrier and to like force me into doing something. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, I, I just think I think it, it would be funny because you'd actually be good at it. And I would not be good at it. And that, that, that be, contrast, I'd be mediocre at it. No, that contrast would be great. That contrast would be so funny. You know, you know what though? I will say this about stand up comedy. I feel like I am very nervous about it. I feel like I suck at it. Yada, 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 yada. But then I'll see some people try stand up comedy and I go, Oh, I got that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Like, like I've seen some people that get real traction and like are able to be like an opener on a tour and I would watch their stand up, and I'm like, I know that I have like nervous breakdowns and run off stage early, but like that guy, that yeah. guy is like yes. awful. Yeah. Like that guy is yeah. not good. So that's going to be me. That's going to be me. And you're going to, you're going to do the good job. You're going to say, don't want to hit a kid that looks like me. I'm going to, and I'm going to, I feel like if you really put your all into it, you could probably pull off stand up comedy. I just don't know if you have it in you to put that much energy into, like, I don't know if that's like what you want. You know what I mean? I think like if that's what you wanted to do, you could find a way to be good at it. I just don't know if that's what you would want to do. So I'm not good at making, it doesn't matter if you're good at it. I'm saying I, you definitely have it in you. I'm just yeah. saying it, it's a more of a matter of, do you want it to the point where you're willing to put yourself through that to get good at it? So I'm, I, I learned this in editing the Elden Ring video is that I use my friends for the content. I just present it in a way that makes it funny, which is really what comedy is. I just have to make the do the funny as well. Like I have to make the content as well as present the content in a funny way. Just the super cut to this bit, really, because now we're going to get into like actual uh, talk about like comedy, which I could do for a minute. I think um there, there, there's two things here. Someone said at some point that like, in order to be a comedian, you have to like live life. Like someone was asked in some kind of interview, and I'm sorry, I don't have name for this. I genuinely don't remember. This was years ago when I watched this interview, asked one comedian about how they wrote their comedy. And, you know, they, they went through some routines of like, you know, writing habits and exercises and whatnot. But then they also just said like, you need to have a life. Like a part of their writing routine is like going out and like hanging out with friends or mm. like taking trips to places mm. or going out to a dinner by themselves or something and just having like their notepad on their phone. Cause like they need to experience life in order to like have things to joke about or to, like have experiences and references to, um, and things to compare other things to. Um, but then another amendment to this too is Larry David. I do know the name for this. Larry David had a quote that like, you know, I, I I'm not a successful anything. Well, I have a little bit of a successful career in my actual job, but like, aside from that, like I'm not a successful anything um but what really helped me break out of my shell in terms of like writing jokes early on and stuff is this larry david interview and i'm just going to keep rambling on and not get to the actual point would piss the fuck off at whoever's trying to get real information out of this um <laughs> but uh he said that comedy is the art of like what if like because his whole thing is like 
you know, these crazy situations that you would never get yourself into, mm. right? Like, you, mm. you know about Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld mm-hmm. and, like, it's just people in these absurd situations acting out of character. Um, he does that sometimes, but, like, a lot of what that comes from is he's in a scenario that's very normal, and his mind would just think, what if this happened? Or those intrusive thoughts where it's like, I should just do this in this situation. And you, like, think, no, that's, like obviously very awful Mm. like a lot of comedy for him is like the science of like what if and then extrapolating that situation as to like what if i acted on that intrusive Mm. thought of mine you know yeah Uh, yeah hey man some of these people are comedic geniuses i make elden ring videos so (laughs) (laughs) why not both i I think if you brought larry david into like 2022 he'd probably be making a elden ring video as well you think so yeah. Like if you, I think if Larry if, David was born in if Larry David was born in 2004, he'd be a femboy. That's fucking sick. One time I met a femboy <laughs> in VR chat and uh he he uh, we we invited him to the Discord and he showed us his bulge and all of us got uncomfortable and we kicked him to the Discord. Well, I should have been there, huh? You should have been there. Boy, fucking little femboy. Um, but <laughs> it was funny. Sean just sent me a message right now. What did he say? He sent me a TikTok. You want to see a TikTok that Sean sent me? Sure. How? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did and the caption is me? when the mugger with a quarter sized hole in his chest asks if I'm calling an ambulance. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. I hate he Sean. He said that to me right now and he's not in here. I hate Sean. I hate, I hate Sean. Is he still in the other Discord? No, he's not. I was going to be like, this stupid little son of a bitch. Date night for Shawnee. Or something, I don't know. Okay. Well, I think that's it for now. I, I'm curious, you know, I'll, I'll keep the, the, the Discord chat open. Maybe I'll think of some bit ideas in between here. No promises, but oh, I, I like I like my bits. Oh, yeah, I like the bits, too. All right, well, yeah, we'll figure some shit out. Um, I'll send you my address. Uh, so yeah, you can, send you me can your address over DMs, bomb. and I'll figure something out. You can it might be kind of cheap. It might be cheapo mode this episode, but I'll promise something substantial down the line. You I just be, spent too much money this week. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't have to get, dude, you don't have to give me anything, dude anything at all or you can get me as all you want I, hear I don't care but um, uh yeah we'll, we'll sort this out how do, how do you how do you end the episode zach we we, we we always start and then don't break your don't don't break your pliers zach zach don't break your pliers zach don't yeah, break that's the type of content people subscribe for i you know what's I was funny to just like imagine a, being like oh i hear my friend zach he's doing this podcast thing i don't know it might be kind of Mm. It, it might be kind of funny. We'll we'll see what kind of content he's doing. And they just skip to an episode and they just. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do and the then thing. like no one. Uh, that's it. I was trying to do the thing where we got um we were doing the um you sounded like a a kid like telling on his brother. I was trying to do like don't do it, Zach. Zach, um, don't do it. But I don't. I don't. Hey, uh, <laughs> if you if you uh, I I swear I won't tell like, mom if you subscribe to the regurgitated podcast channel i won't i won't tell her a gosh dang thing like morty uh <laughs> we're not doing the rick and morty bit uh uh morty i'm not doing that Szechuan sauce you know what i mean this is too this has gone on for too long <laughs> this has gone on. if we started doing rick and morty bits i think this has gone on a little six, too episode long episode six is kind of where we have to like put it in the middle yeah. All right, let's actually uh, cut this. Um, I'm trying to find a funny way to end the video. We did the clap already. We did the breaking of the thing. We admitted. I thought I did a pretty thing. funny, funny, funny way to end it with end it with this voice. But Ben, he just he just kept fucking going. Well, I want to be part he, of it. He, he doesn't. He 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 makes everything about him. <laughs> well, wait. Maybe if I look like like disconnected, and you do that voice, it'll it'll be funny. I was I was trying to do a really really funny bit and it was gonna end the episode and that Ben with his big fucking ass had to, so had to come in and interject all of it. <laughs>